I remember skating to the fountain and there was like these two, three girls there. And I tried impressing them, like talking to them or something like that. It didn't work out. One of them decided to hit me in the nuts. <laughs> so I went down as crouching and they were just laughing and walked away. I'd like to forgive her one day for that. <laughs> what a, what, a, see what that, a moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's ever gonna, I was <laughs> just right in the nuts. And of course, this is before I knew how, what a dick exactly does or anything like that. So. Oh, this is young, young pulp. Young. It's fresh pulp. <laughs> Freshly squeezed out of the yeah. womb. Should I stay or should I go? You tired? I know if you're in the same floor, I must sound like an asshole. Dream did Halloween in Denver. Change the seasons, night to remember. Black box, local dubstep crew, bass drops, you know what to do. Past 2 a.m. Tom's Donna. Burgers and shakes, nothing finer. Bar stand of the next night. House beats while drinking Sprite. No mind, Josh Butler, England. Friend advice, tell me to see them. It's an ass artist for the weekend. Walking the boat, no speeding. Experience is what I'm here for. But honestly, I just hit a board. Chill like I'm at the resort, nothing else interesting. Should I stay or should I go? You tired? I know if you're in the same. I was always nervous about doing sound check when I used to perform in a band. I, I, you can just keep adapting for the song, but this, like, I don't hear, I'm not, I don't have my head. Well, I, I wasn't <laughs> singing for the band, so I mean, like, I couldn't figure out exactly what to say. So, I mean, I mean that's, that's, that's usually the easiest way to do it. So, it's like, yeah, do it, like, or sound check when I DJ, like, hey, do a sound check on a mic for a wedding. Like, what am I supposed to say? Congratulations, Lation. Oh, yeah, you seen like, I can't. You ready to start? Yeah, I thought we were already starting. Kind of, but podcasts and stuff, we started there. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep going. But uh, yeah, no, because I remember I did that one wedding for you, which I didn't really do nothing because no one explained too much you know, to me. You're welcome for that. <laughs> Thank <so>. you. <laughs> Plus, it was just weird. Like, everybody's dressed like elf people and shit. Man, that was an amazing experience. <laughs> Lord and I, of the Rings. I remember um, when I was done. I took like eight bottles of wine home. Mm, that's and I, I think they're still at my parents right now. I stayed there after you because I was talking to, to the rich successful man. So I was trying oh, to yeah, learn the some guy stuff. that was trying to hit on the like the 20 year old there. Yeah. And he was like, no, you should. You should do it for me. Yeah. He was like, hey, look at her butt. Like, dude, I thought you were her dad, <laughs> man. What is what is going on here? Yeah, that was weird. That He's, he's going to get on that list. <laughs> he's going to get on the list. <laughs> he's going to tomorrow on Facebook. We'll share it like. like, like Random, uh, which right guy harasses young teenager? I'm sure they get to do some face <laughs> mapping and eventually find him. <laughs> I wonder how did they get my number? He did have again? some LA stuff. He, I think he lived in LA. I think he was. He didn't live here. That guy. Did he work for a construction company? Some weird shit. Yeah, but he he was he was involved with big people. He's like, yeah, I do stuff with Richard Branson and. Oh um, yeah, yeah, Virgin, the Virgin guy. Yeah, and then he's like, hey, by the way, check out that girl's ass. Yeah, like, yeah. dude, <laughs> like, what are you? What's going on here? Yeah. But. Yeah, I still got, I still have another wedding coming up. Of course, uh, in March they haven't got back to. Um, I'm always apprehensive of doing weddings now because I've seen pr the production for other people who do weddings. It's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, yeah. they have a full light setup and they have surround sound. They have they like real five thousand dollars worth of equipment. Yeah, my person in uh, one of the people I grew up with in the Bronx. He has a company called Modern Sound DJs, and yeah, they got a bunch of shit. He's trying to move out to Houston too, like expand the company to Houston. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, they got a lot of crap. And I'm always like, damn. <laughs> I don't get how they do that. I mean, like, to put that much of an investment into wedding DJing and on top of that, dealing with the people. I mean, it takes me like an hour and a half to set up mm. for like a wedding and stuff, like driving back and forth and everything like that. For them, it must take like three hours for setup. And some of them even have TV. But they get to charge the bigger bucks because of it. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> There's ones that charge like 1500 for a wedding or something. Yeah, and I'm over here like, hey, I'll do it for 400 bucks. Yeah, because your so. main offering is DJ. And then some sprinkles of, of voices or whatever. The you know, voices. Or, or a few lights that you have. You know? I have some like um, sound <laughs> grids where it's like uh, me so horny. Like, oops, I didn't mean go. to put that on there. there you go. So, Damn, I mean. Man, not enough young hip hop being played. Oh, Christ. There wasn't no. enough Ludo Uzi Vert. It, it's, it's been weird in Austin. Because <laughs> every time I mention that I'm spinning um, old school hip hop, people like wet their panties. I'm thinking like, oh my god, like I can't believe some people do that. Like, yeah, there's a whole city an hour down the road that loves all that music. Like, I'm sorry if you guys aren't Oh, so you're saying so so you saying San Antonio don't embrace that? Or? No, San Antonio embraces a lot more than Austin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Austin is just when they hear those 90s songs, they go crazy because they just don't hear them that often. Yeah, yeah. What here is just it's a majority of the playlist. At most places, at least from what I've noticed. Yeah, it is. Because because I'm like the whole hip hop scene, the whole producer scene, I was always dumbfounded by like there's a segment here, like, you know, Jay Nautic or any of those? You know, Jay Nautic? I'm not so uh, familiar with, like, the Beats guys. All right, but yeah, but any of those guys, now, 
they listen and sound like and produce like it's 93 you know yeah. <laughs> like they're still on mpc machines <laughs> and i'm like i get one of you but like why is there a whole scene of like only east coast hip-hop and saying like how did that happen like, i still don't understand why or how that happened <laughs> like, like army i don't know like the parents got moved maybe, over here or something or maybe but i mean you're here what the fuck how does this make same sense? thing air force <laughs> like, yeah like, <laughs> thanks for proving my example so. <laughs> yeah but like that's is that like everyone's story because a lot of those guys they have their whole families have been here like you know they're all mexican not I mean, imports like me so they they have all been here for generations you know that actually kind of reminds me and you start doing that in austin start asking people because pretty much everybody in austin right now <clears throat> is a transplant everybody just moved over there for whatever reason so yeah, the arts yeah i want to find like like every person i talk to on a day and like hey where did you come from why did you come here and so on and so on and just see how many because i think the majority do it in the one second in one second one minute instagram videos social content yeah but i'm gonna need it like sign a user agreement because i'm gonna no, put your just face did it. I, I met this girl there was this girl who i thought was super pretty and i talked to her at the hoover dam and i did the whole goal in life bullshit i do um and yeah she's still on my instagram <laughs> like oh, it was wow. just like hey could you explain it and i just, just put it out there yeah so on camera and like she was cool and that was it that was it okay so i mean i do that i just don't i'm just fearing the repercussions due to you know my job and what i do every day yeah, so. i think everybody takes this shit too seriously man like like my text message that i just got like please tell them i'm never people are like i'm telling man I'm, I'm gonna start banning normal people from this podcast like, <laughs> like you two it was good for practice to get here but now that you take this shit that seriously like yeah, I'm yeah. um, only famous people now. Well, I mean, I was having a whole discussion with a friend of mine, uh, with some friends of mine online, in a group message just about how like how society's moving, and how we're becoming more of a isolated society due to our yeah. own free will, pretty much. Um, that's why people are nervous about human interaction. That's why they stick with using social media to up their social value, but they won't ever like talk to a person at a bar or something. I mean, it still happens, but you know cell phones and everything is becoming more of a crutch for someone to <clears throat> just do away with any type of interaction and i think same thing with that like there's too many normal people who don't have any type of communication skills or anything interesting to tell or anything of that nature and like um like if you're gonna go on a podcast or you're gonna do an interview or something like hey think of a couple of interesting stories i don't want to like hear about you going to walmart and if you go to walmart at least make it comical or something i mean you ain't gotta try that hard just don't say shit and then be like man like could you edit could you not put that out then what the fuck were we doing <laughs> we were just hanging out with microphones like that shit's annoying like stop don't don't why did you show up like why were you here like what the fuck is your problem dude I, I, that's, my, that's my point just don't show up be like hey man i hate you know let's say i'll use me because i'm puerto rican Man, Puerto Ricans suck. You know, like, fuck Puerto Ricans, you know? So, like, and then be like, yo, Abe, could you just not put that out? Like, well, why the fuck did you say it? Like, what, like, like why are you here? Like, and it's not like he said nothing dumb. He's just, I uh, sound like, literally, this is even worse than the person I was saying uh, <laughs> made me delete her episode. Uh, because he didn't say nothing bad. He's just like, I, I think I come off like an asshole. And I don't want people thinking I'm an asshole. I'm like, no one gives a fuck who you are, dude. Because you're a nobody. You know, like, no offense. <laughs> Like and he probably will be successful because he's gonna be like a, a he's an architect he's already made buildings around like South Africa and the world. Oh nice! But I mean like, yes, wait, you had yeah. Elon Musk on here, something like that. But I mean like, yeah, dude, you build buildings. Calm down, like like, like no one's gonna be like, man, this guy doesn't like dogs. I don't, I can't allow. I mean, him it's to not build like he came building. on a podcast. You know, like, <laughs> like, like, it's not like he came on a podcast. He's like, by the way, when I was um nineteen, I drugged a thirteen year old or something yeah, like no, that. Like, dude, just, just like, come on, dogs, and he just didn't want to. He didn't want to talk. Literally, he didn't want to talk. That was his big uh thing, you know. So. I don't know. <laughs> that shit's annoying. I mean, dude. people are nervous about their social value nowadays and how they're um, perceived to everyone, strangers or anything. Are you think nervous about your social value? Your social value better be worth a couple of hundred million. Otherwise, fuck you. You're wasting my time. You'll be surprised. You know, like, I mean, no, like, I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just <laughs> saying for me to accept that, like, to just for you need to justify that by, well, you know why I'm worried about my social value? Because it's my. 99% of my income. So I'm like, all right, my bad. When, when uh, all these social media influencers who only have like 100K followers and they get mad because their name is used in some, I get it. Cause that's your fucking job. 
when Bobby Joe over here is like, no one knows who the fuck you are, Bobby Joe. Like, calm the fuck down. I still have no idea how those people get that many followers that quickly. I'm still flabbergasted um, by that. Like, look, like I told you, I, yo, I, I, so I was streaming the like, like Jake, like we were watching Jake. It's funny. I put that the Japanese shows on. It's playing right now, and it's, I'm not even showing it to you because I left it on Ableton. <laughs> I could, I could just put it on the second TV too, but I fucked up. Man, that, anyway. <laughs> that hurts, man. Can we do a cut? <laughs> but like, anyway, I was I was doing a Twitch streaming on Saturday, and I got like maybe one to three followers up and down. And I was yeah. even at a party too, but like the girls would come and go. So had the girls like stayed with me, they probably they probably would have won up. <laughs> but when I was the one I did two weeks ago, I mentioned with the girl, um, I literally just from. Z- zero second i put it on her <laughs> like and i left it on her so we got like 40 people you know around like watching us and i got 35 followers that night just from her so are people like yeah. just browsing <laughs> channels or something well like the a, way twitch women, is now it's that. kind of like if you look at like that section is called irl right in real life mm-hmm. if you look at that section i would say like 90 plus percent is women um and because like i was joking with the la internet yeah american internet sucks so the women are not even doing nothing cool. Like they're just in front of a computer. And so are the men, to be honest with you. Like, but that's why I was showing you this guy in Japan or this guy in Taiwan. Because the people who are not in America, or there's a couple in Thailand, um, they're fucking seeing the world. And those are my favorite people. Or yeah. Andy Minialakinis, how you say his name? <laughs> you know that what I'm guy's talking about? still around? He's on Twitch what? doing this. And I thought he, he died. He has a lot of following too. He he'll be like a couple of thousand watching him too. Um, I'll watch him sometimes because he's in LA, so it's not as exciting. But because this is what he does, he does the same. He'll travel the world. He doesn't stay there like these yeah. guys do, but he's interacted in Korea and all and all these places. Like, and that's the to me like the goodness of this. And maybe if America Internet no, now, maybe because of FCC, maybe never. But if American Internet ever catches up, you might see more people doing that. Um, like for real, real. Not like, oh, look at my Facebook Live so my friends yeah. can see me and there's no money there. Good job. Congratulations. Like, you know, fuck you. But you see that shit on, yo, in China too. China and Japan. Like, they have, you know, the Twitch competitors. Yeah. So Africa TV, which is Korean. Go figure, right? But anyway, Africa TV. It makes total sense. <laughs> like Africa TV, like that's like a, another Twitch, but for Korea. But yeah, there's people on there just streaming shit and Yo, Korea, I have told you that couple on Korea, 1080p, uh, HD, 60 frames per second off his phone because their internet is godlike. That's insane. They're number one, and I think we're 14 or 18. We're on that that range. So. It's pretty depressing. Yeah, yeah we're fucking it. We, we focus, you know, like, look, I don't know nothing about, I don't know everything about politics, yo, but, you know, I, I assume, like, our number one thing is military budget. Yeah, and Korea was like, I'm not saying it's their number one thing, but like it, it, it's a, it was a mandate. The only reason their internet is number one is because the government kind of like the way we subsidize farming and all that great stuff that yeah. may not matter as much now. Um, they subsidize the internet and they're like, this is going to be our thing. And now it is their thing in 1080p. So yeah, like when, when they traveled, that Korean couple traveled to Cali, it, 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 <laughs> they dropped the quality real quick. They dropped the quality <laughs> This sucks. And they were in Frisco and places like that. The quote unquote tech places, but it's just dick shit. That's insane. Dick shit, dude. And that sucks. So you're telling Fuck me to go you, to AT&T. Korea. Fuck you, uh, other people. Verizon. Fuck Comcast. you, T-Mobile. Fuck you, Comcast. Uh, all, all of them, yo. I'm like, I want to do that. I'm going to do a rap. So I'm going to do a 50 cent song. Like, you know, like <laughs> how to rob, but it's, it's going to be all about internet providers in America. <laughs> you know, I just want to grow up in a world where I could just stream a movie. And within one second, it just buffers the entire thing. Like, why can't why can't that just happen? Like, politicians, please let it happen. Or not, whatever. <laughs> like, at least at home. I mean, I'm, I think we, we should even be grateful we even got as fast an internet we have at home. And to be fair, yo, like, Texas internet has been dog shit compared to the coast. Like, the coast has been whipping our ass. Like, what well, doesn't it doesn't it have more to do with the... Um, how isolated each city is compared to the coast. I mean, I don't know about all that, like that down there, but what I'm saying is like, look, they started the innovation there and I get them getting first, but us taking years to catch up, like we just didn't want it. 
because if our government really wanted it or if or if those companies really wanted it here they would have brought it here but it's like if there's no con like what's the incentive to bring it here what's the incentive to give you faster internet why should i give you faster internet? what how's it gonna help me well, I would still be nervous <laughs> about the government subsidiary or um, subsiding or however you oh, say We're going to just butcher. We're going to look like two idiots because we can't pronounce that word. I know. I can't. <laughs> subsidizing. There we go. Subsidizing. <laughs> like, subsidizing the internet. Um, just, I don't even mean that Korea subsidized, but they did some type of incentive-based thing to make people. Or I mean, in China, yeah. it is subsidized, uh, subsidized through the internet. Well, I so. think China thing is owned. But <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the word you're looking for. <laughs> I don't think they have Google. It's like... Um, it's just China. You just go to yeah, China.com yeah, yeah. and you just whatever. But they also have that good one. The What is it? Uh, Baidu. They have Baidu. Was I think that like that's a search like a engine? Google there. But it used to be back in the day like real good for like illegal downloads. Um, because it was China and who gives a shit about law? <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, it's, it's, that's the law. It's fun. That's the law. They're concerned with, you know, controlling population and not necessarily control, concerned with like what? Copyright? The fuck gives a shit about that? <laughs> well, you can't do nothing with that. I can't control the masses with copyright. They're one of the few countries that completely outlaws people. <coughs> like outlaw so what? People like um Katy Perry's outlawed from going or banned from going to China. Why? Now. What the fuck she do? She did some song or something that um Free China? I want to say support fuck communism, like songs like that. <laughs> something anti communist, <laughs> like, like something in support of Tibet. Oh no, you can't got, be doing that, dude. Yeah, she got banned. You can't be doing that. <laughs> like, I know Brad Pitt was banned there for a while after he made that movie Seven Years in Tibet. Can't be doing that, dude. Uh Tibet, yo, China, China's without even having any wars. Not that I know the history of all this, but yo, Tibet, Taiwan, Hong Kong. None of those people signed up for Chinese. They all Chinese. They all, like, <laughs> they all stuck there, no matter how much they rebel. There's a great documentary on Netflix by uh, Joshua Wang. Or like that's who's it's centered around. Yeah, he's like a young kid who just like kept protesting against China, because when Hong Kong got uh, sent back to China in the nineties, slowly they they started putting stuff in the education system, and he was protesting like he doesn't want their uh, what would you call like fake news the proper term? What would you call like propaganda? Yeah, he didn't want that the mainland propaganda and the system. So they they held like all these protests like like hunger strikes and all this crazy shit. Um, and they won and they didn't put it in there, but then they did a second one similar to our business. Remember when they were doing the Wall Street stuff here? Yeah. Um, Occupy Wall Street. Yeah. So they had like an Occupy Hong Kong that went on for 60 days, but then around there, government got, all right, enough. And they started bringing out these construction trucks and killing the tents and stuff. <laughs> and it was, it's an interesting documentary because you, you see the win, but you see that it doesn't always win. And then they take the hard L's, you know? Yeah. The hunger strike. Ended with that motherfucker being hungry and they just had a rest of the day. <laughs> like the, the government was like, yeah, no, we don't. They, in that matter, whatever that matter was, they just didn't care. They were just like, you fools are going back to work. And that's it, you know? <laughs> like, like, Well, hopefully this podcast doesn't get banned in China. But um, before I started, yeah. So maybe I, I shouldn't teach over there. I should go to this. Now I'm definitely going to Japan. Well, they don't want to know about American imperialism or anything. So <laughs> don't teach that. But yeah. I mean, I, I do find it funny and hypocritical how many people want to support China regarding um, climate change or whatnot, but, you know, don't give a shit how shitty they um, treat, treat their people. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's completely... I mean, they, they're they interesting in that they walk the line, man. Like, I've not, they're like, they're capitalists when they want it to benefit them. And then, of course, with their society, they're, they're not... You know, like, it's a first world <laughs> communist. Uh, yeah, communist that's amazing. Countries. That's yeah. like, like that's, that, that like shouldn't exist, but it does. But I'm saying sooner or later, they're going to have their own little um, same way they had the Arab Spring. There's going to be something that you can't you because you can't just keep growing in those things that kind of create individual growth. Like, yo, yeah. there's more millionaires in China. right? I hear than ever before because no one's going to billionaire status. But, you know, it's just so big. And there's just so much room to like try if you can try yeah. to do new things. But yeah, as people keep growing, like, dude, someone's going to find out something, you know, as more <laughs> Chinese basketball players come over. Not, I don't even know if we have any, but like you saw Yao Ming year one and Yao Ming at the end where he's just like a bad, you know, rapper, you know, <laughs> like, like, um, but he single handedly elevated Houston Rockets popularity by <laughs> yeah, three times the, yeah, yeah. something. Well, that's why all... That's why you get like uh, Steph Curry's uh, Chinese vacation. Yeah. Um. You get Le- LeBron. I don't even know if he went this year, but even Kobe went this year, and he don't even fucking play no more. Kobe. Oh, yeah, he's still worshipped over there. Yeah, yeah. God. So I mean, that's 
China, yo, China during the summer is a big NBA thing every year. Yeah. That's like important. That's a top priority. What is that? They still have the Chinese league and a lot of players are still going over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. The, the, the GOAT, Marbury. <laughs> was Marbury. <laughs> He's like dominating over those uh, those teams. But, <laughs> and whatever works for him. He's still oh, no, up a that's, that's where you just got to make, yeah, you got to make life the best for you. Yeah. You know, like, so what? You don't get to be Michael Jordan here. Like, you know what? He still got, he got paid to play basketball. And then now, as long as he's not an idiot, he doesn't really need a real job, you know? Like, it's going to be pretty hard for him, though. What? To not be an idiot. Maybe, bro. So. That's that's your fault. I mean, once you get poor after like making too much money, that's your fault. I don't, I don't get no mercy for you. No you know, mercy. Like, like, no, no pity or whatever it is. Cause it's like, man, if you're going to live in excess, cause like right now, obviously, I've never been rich. But it's like, yo, I've never made more than like 32K in my life, yo, which is kind of prophetic. But it's like, yo, I get a lot of this garbage, yo. Like, I, cause I don't, I know what I want and I know what I, I don't need, you know? Yeah. So, like, yo, I'm telling you, you give me like 100 plus K, like, I'll be like mega rich. <laughs> like, like, just, <laughs> I try not to be so satisfied at that, at least. And like, still. It's not even being satisfied, but it's just the things that I'm aiming for are primarily like me creating shit. So now I might yeah. be doing podcasts where I travel. Like all of them will be in person. I won't even do like, uh, like I interviewed my friend in London. I'd be like, nah, man, I'm gonna just fly to London. You know, like, <laughs> so they might be or like, fly over here. yeah, they'll just be bigger versions of like what I already do or just like maybe a lot more music, you know, like, um, but yeah, it won't be like, you know what? I should buy a fucking car, you know, like, um, you know, I always talk about, remember, you know, Richie Branson, like the guy who made it from here and stuff. Yeah. But like one of his things, and he makes fun of himself, is like he's a big sports car guy. So he has to buy like, I don't know if it's a Maserati or something, but he buys expensive car. And you know, I think he'll probably won't stop at one. But he makes fun of himself because, man, I'm better. I'm going to have to keep making money because of this. And I'm like, well, you can just not <laughs> fucking buy them cars. You know what I mean? That's me, though, because I don't give a shit about those cars. You know, I'm trying to get on Team Prius because I'm trying to not spend no gas. I'm trying to spend <laughs> as minimal gas as possible, you know? Shoot, so. I'm just. <laughs> I'm still contemplating getting a bike, but then again, I'm nervous about falling from a bike. Oh, I, I can ride a bike because I remember last time I rode a bike was in San Diego <coughs> and I rode it into a parked car. Damn, extremely embarrassing. <laughs> I was with my ex over there, and we're having a great time. We were running some bikes and stuff like that, uh, biking down the pier, and I just remember going down the sidewalk and like couldn't handle it and it went right into a car, and she drove off and didn't even notice me. Yeah, I think the alarm went off for a little bit, and I just ran. Ever since then, it's been a traumatic experience to go back to riding a bike, and now I kind of have to do it being in Austin, since riding a bike is a religion over there. Mm. Bike lanes up the ass. And- I was gonna say, yeah, like I think you need to be less worried about falling off. And I have a friend here; she moved from Baltimore to here, and she no longer has her car because she lives downtownish, so she mm-hmm. just rides a bike everywhere. She got hit on day one. <laughs> oh, <Christ. laughs> like, like, but um. Yeah, I just I'd be worried more about getting hit because after after like a day of riding, like you'll probably you'll have it, you know. Oh well, yeah, that's the only thing I'm nervous <laughs> about is just riding in traffic. Yeah, I mean, just riding straight through downtown. A lot of those cyclists over there just don't care. I mean, going straight through red lights or green lights or whatever. I mean, yeah, because they they take advantage of the fact that they're supposed to have a priority, but. Yeah, man, these are cars, dude. And sometimes the cars are assholes, but sometimes, yeah, they just really don't see you. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, so you got to, you got to, the great poets Wu-Tang Clan once said, you best protect your neck, you know? <laughs> so it's all on you. Shoot, we're going there, man? Yeah, yeah man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Speaking, speaking of going there, um, I'm trying to think, I don't know if I did this with the Sunday podcast, but Mike, but because we just started talking, we never stopped. But uh, who, uh, who, who am I here with today? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, me. Um, I'm Danny. Uh, mm. You know, last name withheld for Rand? discretion. Danny Rand. Um, Danny. Rand. I'm Danny. Um, the immortal Iron shitty Fist, ass, yeah, sworn ass, protector of the <laughs> shitty ass movie, and sworn enemy of uh, the hand. Sworn enemy of entertainment. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> of entertaining. Yes. TV. So far, thirteen so. plus eight. What's that? That's quick. That's not quick maths. That's hard maths. <laughs> I think so. What's thirteen plus eight? 
Thirty percent. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just. Oh no, literally pop that's, quiz. Because that's how many. <laughs> can I use my phone? How many hours of? Yeah, I don't care. That's how many <laughs> hours of shit footage he's made me watch. Defenders was only eight episodes. Yeah. Oh wow. Hey, because it went by pretty fast. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> that felt even that even that show sucked dick. I mean, I saw Defenders <clears throat> after Iron Fist. I didn't even. I didn't even like. I don't know if I erased it from memory, but I'm not sure if I seen Iron Fist. Um, but yeah, every single scene that he was in, I fucking yeah. hated. Yeah, like, I don't, I, I don't understand. And just the rest of the show in general was, but he like brought everybody down. He was like, oh, uh, he's like Carmelo Anthony. I mean, they were breaking, <laughs> a, they were breaking the third wall too, and talking to the audience about expressing our own disappointment with with him well, saying yeah, it yeah. over and over. It's pretty, and it's funny because it was the kind of they started filming or finished filming before Iron Fist comes out, so it's like, damn, it's like they knew. It's yeah. like they knew. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess they get a good, good gauge because once all the um, seasons released at once. You got those reviews within that weekend instead of like waiting for the next yeah, two yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, I don't know what they were doing with that character, dude. But anyway, Punisher didn't suck, so hooray. Right. Oh, you finished Punisher? <laughs> finished it on Saturday, dude. Did we talk about Punisher? Because cause that shit Briefly, went hard. Briefly, but, but you you started watching Buffy, so I don't know if you finished it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no. Um, no, I only made that joke because I just make random statuses when I'm bored or something like that. Yeah. Just like, you know, I'm online and I'm like, hey, people do something. So I was like, oh, let me make a status and All something right. stupid. And I, and I try to hold back from making um, fiery statuses now because yeah, yeah. it just it becomes too much of a fire, I guess, oxymoron there or something like that. Um, but no, I just, you know, just put something stupid and see what people <laughs> react to. And most of the time I say nothing but stupid shit. So it kind of works out. Hmm. Shout out to stupid shit. Yeah, because I'm stupid. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, Buffy's the shit, but uh, Punisher went so hard, man. Like, did you have, yeah, I don't think we even discussed that. Did you have any, like. Briefly, I, I think, do you have negatives? I was going to ask you Yeah, that. I always have, that's what I mean. That's Because that's obviously you're a bigger um, comic book fan than me. Yeah, 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 yes, I have negatives, but they're all more like, probably because I'm a creative. So, like, they, uh, they're more like, the negatives aren't enough for me. I still rank it as probably one to 1A. Like, I can't put it above Daredevil just because Daredevil came first. Yeah. So, to me, Daredevil brought innovation and Punisher is coming after, like, what, six series? It's like, yeah, we, you know, like, like it, it's not like they're, they're the first to do anything. They're just the first to be more violent than the rest of the guys, you know? And it's like, yeah, we see violence everywhere. So, they're not the first to do nothing. Daredevil was like, oh, shit, this is possible? You know? <laughs> like, so I can't put it above there, but I can put it right next to it. So it's like one. Of, but it's the first show to be better than Jessica Jones, because to me, Jessica, no one was coming close to Jessica to even Jessica. Because so I had it Daredevil, Jessica I mean, Jones, and then other that. shows. <laughs> well, what's better than Jessica Jones in these Netflix shows? I mean, I'd say it's tied with Luke Cage. Fuck out of here, man. What? The fuck? Well, you you one of the few people didn't like. I Jessica much Jones. preferred. I I, I enjoy <clears throat> Jessica Jones. Because I love Kristen Ritter. No, it took you Shout forever. Out to it took you forever to write Shout that. Shout out to Kristen Ritter. I saw Ritter. that picture, like, but it took you forever. <laughs> yeah, if I was there, I would have been like, you know what? He didn't even like his show. He would have been like... <laughs> no bullshit. You know what I told her? <laughs> what you I told her, hey, Breaking Bad is my favorite show of all time. That's fine. Yeah, I know. I didn't yeah. even mention Jessica it's Jones. It's not like she's but not everybody there It's was, not like she's not there. Everybody there was with their Funko Jessica Jones. Of course. And their comic books. And I'm over here like, yeah. Well, Breaking she's Bad. a lead. I Don't mean, that, that blew her up. Plus Marvel, dude. Like people like me. People like me. No, no, but that blew her up as a lead. She's a oh. lead. And then people like me who only care about Marvel, like now we now we care about you because look, none of those people are going to be there without Jessica Jones <laughs> <laughs> because this is the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like when you cast people like Ben Affleck, even though I thought he's good, but when you cast people like Ben Affleck and they cost money, I was like, you could have cast Joe over here the same way they cast like random Superman because we're there for Superman as long as he's not a dumbass, you know? Like, look how great uh, whoever Captain America is. No one Chris knew the fuck that guy was. Well, but Chris you know Evans what? Chris been a big actor. Oh, that's right. He was human torts. But anyway. <laughs> like, but <laughs> no, but what I that, mean is like, no one, there? like he didn't really, he's not like a, oh shit, Chris Evans got a new movie. Let's go. You know, <laughs> so I mean like you were there for the character. So yeah, in a way that, that took her to next level. It didn't make yeah. her, but it took her to the next level. Uh, but anyway, like, nah, Cage is, Cage is the, the real beginning of the end is Daredevil season two, but Cage is the beginning of the end because, hey, after they, yo, spoilers, yo, but whoever watching this, but anyway, um, Cottonmouth, dude, after the death of Cottonmouth, that show, it's the beginning of, I mean, it's the online consensus is that Cottonmouth was a great villain. 
and they should have tried to bring him back somehow. Oh my god, no, no, no! <laughs> like, I love, what? Kind you of... fucked up. Deal with it. No, don't bring him back. No, no, I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> saying, I'm not saying that they can. They're not going to pull like a you know. It was just all a dream. You know what? You know, um, what? you know what? Bring him back. Put him in that fucking hand juice. It's over. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> I mean, if Jigsaw could come back after getting his head re Yeah, but he in... didn't die. That makes more sense. He... I mean... No, everybody in Punisher... Because Punisher 2 should be... Punisher has superpowers on this show. People don't know. He has two superpowers. Um, He's Re- like he's similar to the Incredible Hulk in that if you say some shit about his family, he gets angry. And then, <laughs> <laughs> like... And his other superpower is, is Daredevil. He has the, the Cassius Clay Roper dope that Daredevil has and the ability to just take infinite amount of punishment. <laughs> like that kind of infinite amounts of punishment. I do agree. That kind of like broke some of the suspension on the show because it's like it felt like <clears throat> he was literally invincible and he could not die whatsoever. Like I mean, there was no basis. <clears throat> like he wasn't hurting from any of his fights. He's no, he's always hurting from all of them. But he he has a reset button when when it's time for a new fight. Because <laughs> like, the thing is with him, he he his thing is more like he might as well just be Ghost Rider, right? The, in the theory or something like that. Of a, a vengeful death type character because pretty much he can with take he can withstand anything because the mission's not done. That that's what's going on here. And to be fair, there's probably real military and navy seals who would be like, yeah, that's that that part is kind of realistic because the mission ain't done. I mean, that kind of like brings <laughs> up to like the the issue like going forward because obviously did you see it all because i don't know if i want to say certain stuff did you see it all yet yeah i finished that shit yeah so like yeah Yeah, like the abuse episode is like goddamn you know like when he's tortured oh yeah but i mean like overall foot keeps falling asleep um overall like the it ended on a closure i mean he's back in um ptsd um therapy pretty much and it looks like he exercises demons how do you move forward with that I mean, what do you do? I mean, the showrunner said the same thing. He said, like, dude, truth be told, anytime if we have another season, we will come up with a war for him. Don't worry about it. (laughs) But they were like, yeah, to not have him end like that would be like, dude, 13 episodes and no growth, you know? Um, I mean, that was all the growth, though. I mean, that was like a full series growth in one season. Did this see? Sorry. So this leads me to. It's all the growth. But yeah, but if there's a reason to carry on, like because they didn't kill Jigsaw. Right, I mean that's more reason enough. Then the mission was never complete. If I mean, what is he gonna come alive. back? He's gonna come back and kill. Um, eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, kill the lawyer. It does. He doesn't have to kill anyone. The fact that the mission isn't complete is enough because he still ties back to his family. But he destroyed everybody that was responsible for killing his family. No, but Jigsaw is related to that, and from the TV show, not the comic book, for, but for the from the TV show perspective, yeah. Jigsaw is related to that. What the, like like I said, the way they can, <clears throat> I guess would be a good follow up would be have Jigsaw kill um No, the see you want incentive. The fact that he's still alive what, what? is incentive enough because well, he didn't like he was... never finished the mission. Okay, I see. Your this point is what now. I'm saying. Cause technically he t- all those people are tied to indirectly killing his family. And like that's because that's this 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 season's pretty much that. It's like, okay, I got this. I got the start of the circle, but now I need to get the out. <laughs> like anybody. Did you breathe on papers involving my family? Dead. You know? Like, <laughs> did you give that guy a taxi ride? Yeah, like, yeah. Did you, tax like, right off? Dead. Dead. You know? <laughs> like, 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 kill your secretary. I'm going to kill your gardener. Yeah. Everybody. And like, okay. But you see like, yo, like, yo, when this show started, I got scared. I don't know. I think I texted my friend in New York like a minute and 30 seconds in because um, these Netflix shows, I liked them, but Overall, I like them, but they have that Nolan vibe and that they want to be realistic, which is probably the real reason why Iron Fist sucks. But yo, Punisher burns the, the the skull in the first minute and a half, you know, of the show. He burns the skull. And I was like, oh, my gosh, like Punisher show started. The man is like, fuck a costume. I'm like, what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> like, you keep like denying the thing that we want. And I'm it's, like, like, it's weird, though, because every other daredevil has been the only one to fully dress up i know even I though he get doesn't why... get his costume to episode 13 he's still daredevil i mean he, he gets it but he he's... moves forward and uses it in defenders but and daredevil he's, season but two he's and still so on dare, yeah he's still dare no but he's still daredevil and this is why i'm not fully angry because punisher still punisher <laughs> you know like and he's still wearing black he just doesn't have a we skull just wear there, the so damn yeah, skull yeah. man okay but, no but it's like true like 
This is the problem. Like, even though technology has made it that these movies don't really suck and TV shows don't really suck, there's it's still not good enough yet to to really do it. If you watch, if you read a comic book or if you watch the animated films, which by the way, DC still has like the best animated films, even though you don't watch them. No, that reminds me. I need to um, either tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to watch um, Justice Wars. What the fuck is this Justice Wars? It's a it's a DC uh, movie. Justice League uh, Wars? That Justice mean? League Wars. Okay. There you go. <laughs> wait, wait. I tell you, I tell you. Oh, that's the dark. That. See, that one's going to make you sad because it's it's probably what this movie was supposed to be. Well, that's what I <laughs> great about it, though, because I've, I've seen a couple clips from it. Um, especially there was a, cri- a clip where um, How meets up with Batman. He's like, hey, you don't have. Um, what's your superpower? He's like, oh, I, I don't have anything. Like, Is it Green um, Lantern like, shitting on him, right? Yeah, he's like shitting on him. And then. You see him pull off the ring. He pulls off the ring. He's like, well, how did you do that? Which is exactly. super fucked up because he's the man of no fear. Like, like this is what I'm saying. Like, all those cool scenes always happen in the animations and the comic. There's a great scene. They did Justice League Dark animation like recently. Um, and Constantine. Batman ends up finding Constantine and Constantine takes the lead while Batman's there. Yeah. But all these ghosts and things would happen and Batman can't always necessarily see them because he's not. that's not his world. But like a bunch of things kind of being related to death, they they're they're in this vicinity and then they see Batman and they all hover around Batman. Batman can't see it, but they all <laughs> hover and they're like, this one has eluded me for time and time and time <laughs> again. And they're just angry because they've never been able, you know, this is the man who just he doesn't escape death. Dude, there's a classic story. Oh, it's written by the Swedish, I think Scottish guy. There's a famous Scottish DC comic book writer. Well, he's an everything writer at the he's old now. But he wrote one of the original like Dark Side Amazing stories. Um, <clears throat> and it's a story where Batman's pretty much in jail for like 15 years or some crazy shit. Like it's old man Batman, but he he does some mind fuckery to break out. And it's pretty much like another Batman last stand story, but like in this whole crisis where Dark Side is the master. Um, and you don't find out to the end of the show, but um the narrator of that story is uh deaf, right? Um and one everyone, everyone, all the heroes pretty much die in this story, right? Um, and he would observe them and say something, and sometimes they would see him and you know they're they're afraid because they're gonna die. Yeah. And I think this is a moment where Batman's gonna die, and Batman sees death, and it's like the only one where he's not afraid and he, he, it's almost like death was kind of afraid, like intimidated <laughs> by this because he's like most people are afraid and batman just uh-uh you know like, like and it's that type of like that character never transfers to any even if ben affleck's good like it never transfers he's never a good detective even though he was kind of smart in this movie which i was like at least he knows something in the justice league movie that you didn't see he's kind of smart he's the one you don't like, want me to see i mean it's not i don't want you it's just you don't have to see it. If it comes to you, yeah, but I'm not like, yo, Danny, yo, fucking take off tonight and go see. No, no. Like, go watch it. You'd be better off watching Punisher again. <laughs> like, like, but uh, um, I'm going to watch Thor tomorrow again. So, yeah, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's way more fun. But, any, like, anyway, like, the, the animations just have, like, they. what I was trying to say going back to Punisher is that when you watch Justice League, you're going to see Batman, Green Lantern, Flash, etc., Wonder Woman. When you watch both TV shows, whether it be CW, Netflix, or the movies, you're going to see Bruce Wayne. You're going to see Barry Allen. You're going <laughs> to see Diana. You're going to see, you know, Dick Grayson, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you know? Well, you know, and that's the disconnect. The reason behind that um, is because budgets. That's no, why. It's, no, it's not <laughs> they're budgets. Bitches. They're bitches. It's not budgets. I mean, they're they bitches. Got, they're no, bitches. they got the money for it, but it's no, it has no, a, it has a lot to do with um today's Hollywood or um, today's society. Like, you ever see um uh, Ninja Warrior? The fucking that contraption uh, they do where they go through like Sasuke this. in Japan. Yeah, I used to watch. Yeah, that. they yeah. made it into a U.S. TV yeah, show. yeah. Ultimate Ninja Warrior. Yeah, yeah. So the whole show focuses around doing all this stupid obstacles. I know it is, but people. they tell the stories, right? The narrative? Yes, yeah, the yeah. stories. They open, they want to do some human interactions, so they spend the first 20 minutes introducing the person. Yeah, American Idol style, yeah. Yeah, like, oh, like uh, my dog got a splinter and I'm trying but to you raise know what money, you can do? blah, blah, you blah. You can tell the story of Batman instead of fucking Bruce Wayne. But exactly. <laughs> like, they like, they want to introduce the human concept to do it. Um Instead of just introducing just the superheroes. Because in the end, like, we just want to see the superheroes. Like, they, they completely misread the audience. D- 
doing this. Like, yes, we want them all together. No, we don't want their personal like personal identities. We want their superheroes. No, it's, and on then the you screen. can have that too. But the thing is, like, it's usually like 75, 25. And that's kind of whack, considering that these are two hour movies and you only get it. I mean, we get hero movies a lot, but you only get that specific hero yeah. movie once every whatever. Yeah, every like, 20 years. Or so. I mean, Justice like, League has never been done before. And like, this is the first time. If you watch Justice League War, dude, that thing's only like an hour and 10 minutes, dude. And it's like, you probably don't even see any of their real things. But it, you would almost argue it captures their real personalities way more than any DC movie <laughs> ever has. And maybe even some of the Marvel ones, dude. Because, yeah, like. Um, it's a retelling. You probably never read like Justice any of the comic books recently, right? Not recently, no. We're not even we're done with the new fifty two, but Justice League War and the idea of Dark Side uh these days is the first story. It's literally the first Justice League story. Um and that's the first story. Like fucking imagine having Thanos as story one, you know? <laughs> but they still do a decent job, you know, like both in the comics and war. So in war, they're all meeting each other for the very first time. So you see little tidbits like uh Superman, when I forgot what Batman does, to Superman, but he's like, oh, he finds out he's Clark, and yeah. again, because he's angry that he finds out he's Clark, he just fucking X-rays through the thing, and he's like, yeah, and it's like little things like that that you can still get a bit of their real, but like, look, man, it's this crisis zone. I ain't got time to be Bruce Wayne, motherfucking. <laughs> they don't even know what a dark side and a parademon is. They're just fucking like, like, yo, we got to deal with this shit. I mean, didn't the whole movie? Just as they do that, at least regarding like introductions, but it was just mostly the human interaction, like Bruce Wayne meeting everyone, and it's talking about the real movie now, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Um, um, yeah, it was just like interactions with the actual characters, and like the whole threat didn't feel authentic. Like nobody cared. Like it was just like, hey, let's bring these characters together, and then we're gonna spend thirty minutes on the actual threat. Since the movie was like less the than the movie two hours. starts with um, similar to Suicide Squad, like everybody needs to get a little shine but they only kind of gave it to batman and wonder woman so batman had a solo scene wonder woman had a solo scene they're like all right that's who people care about everybody else you know you get here when you get here <laughs> like that is bruce wayne like begging people to join his squad um <laughs> hey man i get these pamphlets. it's just apocalypse it's the apocalypse movie again where apocalypse walks around like you should be on my team you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's just that Straight movie. Straight recruiting people, man, like UCLA or something. But also, no one cares about that shit because who the fuck gives a shit about a Stephen Wolf, dude? Like, I'm telling you, it's the same. I keep saying this to a lot of my friends, but it's like like Proxima Midnight League. Imagine if Infinity War's big bad guy was Proxima Midnight instead of Thanos. And it's just like, why? I mean, that was why? People's, <laughs> why? Like <laughs> that was people's complaint though in the first Avengers, but it turned out well. Like Loki, like Loki. No, be my the complaint, biggest... and I still complain about that shit because like, those are like my minor. I didn't because they I, have disposable villains. I didn't even have to. I didn't even get my uh, complaints on Punisher, but I, my my complaint was more. First off, yes, that is a bad thing, disposable villains, but that's not even the big deal. The big deal is Loki already got his shitty movie and Thor. Like, <laughs> why are you here like if avengers are here like and we're uniting them why are we united them against someone that thor beat by himself you know <laughs> like, like well, i think pretty much like, like you needed some type of character and at least like everybody i think that guy Loki. popped off yeah that guy popped off hiddleston or whatever his name is yeah yeah he, that's why he's still here that's why he's never well, gone yeah that's why certain characters <laughs> have bigger roles in new movies and tv shows because everybody loved the character yeah overall. yeah so um I do appreciate it though. They could have just been. They could have just introduced Thanos. So I'm afraid of the, the. Well, they did. He's chilling. And then he just stayed chilling for many, many <laughs> years. <laughs> but that's why I'm afraid with the the scrolls or whatever. Um, for Captain Marvel, I'm afraid mm. that the scrolls will be dispensable or disposable, and like, who's gonna be the real bad guy? I think they're gonna extend it just a bit. I mean, I wish just, they could have used Super Scroll as just as a troll. It just did they as a troll. <laughs> That would be so. The good. thing I'm nervous about though is that <laughs> Ant Man and Marvel come out before the second, uh, the fourth. Oh yeah, it make no sense. Avengers. To me. Yeah, man. So I'm like, do you like think the world's going to shit and like at like we've seen a bunch of pictures for Avengers four, but do you think it should be based on the original original announcements? But do you think Thanos is in Avengers four? No, yeah, he is. I mean, Josh Brolin's out here chilling in Cable Land and shit. Like, no. You know, like, like, well, I mean, he doesn't need to do that much work. It's mostly yeah, like yeah, because he, he's stuck on Wolf too. He's CGI and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure they covered the title because it's a big um. They said it's a big spoiler. 
So I'm pretty sure um, dead motherfuckers. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it, Avengers Four is gonna be called Infinity Rebirth. Rebirth. Oh, <laughs> Rebirth. <laughs> You thought he was dead? Or welcome no. back. Wow, what was going what were you, you going to say? Oh, it's Infinity Gauntlet, I'm sure. Cuz Infinity Wars is going to be the fight for the gauntlet, and then 4 is going to be him having the gauntlet and wielding power, and that's when you have like Warlock and uh, Captain Marvel and like the big big I can't remember which one which one. The other one came first though. Which one? In the comics, Gauntlet came first. I think so, yeah. That's the one people I mean, really like has, care about. The to... other two stories, not so much. Well, it could be called Avengers Assemble, but that sounds pretty lame. No, but, but I think it's going to be Infinity Gauntlet. So he's going to have it, and that's it. I mean, because they, <clears throat> the Russell Brothers said like that the Avengers 3 is going to be like a heist movie. So it's pretty much like Proxima and the Black Order and everybody it's looking gonna for... the reverse Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um and they're going to be looking for pretty much all the gems everywhere, or the stones. Um, so once they have them, that's when it's going to lead off. And it's like, if Andy Gauntlet, he has them. Like, everybody's fucked. Like, what can he do? Yeah. So at least that's why I, I'm just conf- um, I'm just not so sure because, like, the, the leaked San Diego um, footage, I don't even know if that's just, like, three. Like, I don't know if that's three and four. Because if that's just oh, three... Oh, I would just say that's just... Well, I mean... If that's just three, three holy yeah, shit. Yeah, it just looks like just three, yeah. I mean, if that's literally just three, I can't imagine what they're going to do for four. I this is what I'm saying. Like, none of the footage ever involves any bad guys. Like, it's always Tony and Ronan or Hawkeye Ronan, you know? and Yeah. Like, all, I mean, on the footage or pictures. All the pictures of Avengers 4 is, like, always Avengers and no bad guys. So I'm like... Is Thanos still involved? Like originally planned? <laughs> like, no, no. Yeah, they, what they said they're gonna they they're gonna stretch his story out both movies. So will he be the first real good bad guy? <laughs> Twofold. He has I, two two things to solidify. First decent bad guy in a Marvel movie. Um, and the second thing would be first decent portrayal of a god tier bad guy. Cause all god tier bad guys have kind of sucked. Well, I mean, they're gonna. They're gonna prove that once he kills someone, and then they because all back, the other ones haven't really back. done it. <laughs> no, nah, they're not coming back. I mean, Dark Side. I mean, I, I mean, of all the it? people that are not come back, anything. it's the perfect. Yeah, he's what a bitch. But I mean, like, like, no. But of all the people, like of all the stories where they should come back, that's the perfect story for them to come back because there's six gems right here ready for everybody to come back. Well, that's what that's the idea, but I don't think they wanna wield it to the point where they can reverse everything i want i think they want to show like everybody's actions has consequences pretty much and like Don't they always show that with tony stark the real villain of the marvel cinematic universe <laughs> responsible for probably all the bad things that happen on and earth if, then it'll be like a rip off <laughs> of flashpoint though i mean to reverse everything nah because flashpoint you got a cool little alternate story line. in gauntlet though he, they were they uh what is it he wields the power and just annihilates what one third of the human population <laughs> And that's the reason why or the universe, yeah. yeah, the universe. So that's the reason but he that transcends to, to the point that uh, he's no longer there. So I think they just take that. Like it's not even a fight at the end. Like whatever entity was there with him, I need to read they that. They just like okay, because like he transcended to almost being part of the universe where like the physical manifestation no longer really. Yeah, when he was, was fighting yeah, so, <laughs> Galacticus or yeah. like everybody, he's like nobody could defeat him. He has he wields un- <clears throat> unlimited power. So I mean. In in war, he's a farmer. Yes, he yeah, <laughs> man, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's the perfect ending. Right there. I hope it ends that way. No, I wanted to end. No, I want him to be a farmer. I want him to be a farmer. I wanted to end <laughs> with Korg <laughs> shooting him or something. Um, but no, I, I hopefully it doesn't end that way or the whole Nebula uh, Nebula route. Um, with her daughters killing them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they established her long enough. To be an actual wish, she wasn't even in part two of Guardians, right? Yes, she is. She, she technically becomes one for the purposes. Oh yeah, of the you're credits. right. She becomes a good uh, <laughs> for the credits. He's not really one of them, but for yeah. The so, credits. so for right now, she doesn't. She can't. She doesn't have no redemption arc, at least wielding it. Because the whole when she wields it, she becomes powerful, and then Thanos has to team up with everybody else. So, like, why does why is she gonna turn evil again? Like, I kill mean. the carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, I mean, I just, right, I fucked up. My bad. You know, like, like, <laughs> no one should wield this shit. No man, my bad. He's, yes. he's on that Kanye tip. No man should have all that power. <laughs> my man. Greatest of all time on the <laughs> villain. So. But as long as it doesn't go that route, 
I'll be I, fine. I don't remember if I listed whatever was wrong with Punisher. And, I, and honestly, we went down such a hole that I don't really remember it. Um, they did some cool stuff. The sex scenes were out of nowhere. Yeah, they probably need that. Like, I, I mean, because- I just didn't understand. Like, I like, I, you know, a good sex scene is a good sex scene. But I mean, I just didn't like understand the context of having it over and over because it's like, okay, she's infatuated the guy and they're just yeah, yeah. screwing or something. I thought it'd be more, I guess, romantic or something I, instead I, of just I hate, sexual. I mean, like, like wasting my time on the the troubled guy lewis whatever his name is the troubled soldier oh yeah i forgot about that he gets like seven episodes of build up and i'm like i mean i get it i know what's coming but it's like yo why are we even showing this guy like you want to waste my time on seven you give me a real (laughs) villain not like ptsd wax soldier i mean that was unless that guy really is like something from the comic books and i just missed it um because he might be but I doubt it because I felt like they wanted to address some like veteran issues like yeah. throughout the thing. So oh yeah, the whole season yeah. <laughs> was just on PTSD. I mean, it was just that was all of it. I mean, having the soldier thrown away, having him deceived by another person, and showing how crazy they can get <clears throat> without the proper supervision and treatment. I mean, that was the whole season. I mean, it was it was Frank Castle right there. He didn't get closure and couldn't find anywhere else. I mean, yeah, it was a kind of weird. It was a weird um, PSA on joining the army. Like, <laughs> be careful when you get out, guys. Be careful. Or just don't sign up for Black Ops. I yeah. guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> if someone comes up to you and tells, tells you to join Cerebus, yeah, yeah. say no, guys. Don't, do, say don't no. do Black Ops stuff. Um, But yeah, like that, that whole thing of like, again, like killing the skull, like let them be who they are. Like I would have more like, like... He gets sucked into this. Did this show? This show is about he gets sucked into it more because like what? Still more people who fucked with my family. God <laughs> damn it! You know, like versus like him finally just embracing the Punisher role. You know, like that's what I'm saying. When it starts episode one, they like I take that as like oh we fucked up and made something people care about. <laughs> Let's rewind it back. He's not Punisher no more. You know, <laughs> and then the fact that the story is is his origin again, and I'm like. My favorite two scenes in Daredevil were his uh, monologue, episode four monologue, all right, I'm done red on the grave. Mm-hmm. And they pretty much extrapolate all that into this show. And it's like, what was once my imagination is now the show. And I'm like, I kind of did that already. You know, in episode <laughs> and it was done beautifully because origins usually suck. So having this man act it out is great because now we're done. You know, best origin story ever. Spider-Man this year. I got bit. The, you got bit by spider? Yeah. The end. Like, that was fantastic. That was great. I mean, that was great. <laughs> like, I don't get how... <laughs> I don't get how Justice League can do such a terrible job introducing people and having him not give a shit compared to when Civil War did it with Spider-Man. It was so quick. I mean, like, everybody knows the character and he's like, it explains well, how long he's been Spider-Man. He said six months. He said after the incident, we everybody knows the incident. Yeah, just, and like he's just trying out. Spider-Man like, gets to cheat. He has seven. He has six movies already. You know, like and the world knows him in general. He has like a bigger platform. Batman so, versus uh, Dawn of Justice still had the Batman origin scene. Uh, that's, Again, that's their fault. That's just stop being stupid. <laughs> but I mean, I I still think even outside of that they could have gone that route obviously they could have just had another origin story but they went against that right. and same thing with like when they introduced black panther i mean no explanation at all to yeah. where he's from to how he got the suit to anything i feel like, just, like they, the they just elude like yo there's some shit like we had, like if you were king or something in wakanda it's just part of your role i think they allude to that and like that's about it they don't really say nothing yeah they kind of save that yeah they and throw that's a little, fine. I'm they good throw subtle hints in there like yeah. when Steve is like, uh, is your suit made of vibranium? And he doesn't really explain. Like, throw a little subtle hint so the audience understands it. Yeah. Um, but they don't need to like, straight out, hey, by the way, here's a 20-minute scene of me explaining my life. And we're going like, to no. get it in his movie. That's a bit more fun. Though they're already guilty of the evil black panther crime. It's un- unfortunate. You, I know you hate that troop so I much. I do. That's why, like, in the middle of the show, I was like, this Billy Russo starting. Even in the trailer, I saw Billy walking. Like, uh, and the trailer's so fast that it, it looked like Frank Castle, but I was like, I'm pretty sure that's not Frank Castle. I'm pretty sure that's Evil Punisher. You yeah. know? <laughs> like, 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 and he doesn't really act like that enough. He's just, because he's there, he's rich, you know? 
Um, I wouldn't say he was trying to act like evil punisher. No, he's, he's trying not. To get away That's what I'm that. saying. Yeah. He doesn't really act like that. But I mean, technically, because they're both military and came from the same thing, it's the Ryu Ken thing. You know, they're yeah. just, he's just mirror thing. So, I mean, that part might bother me a bit, too. Like, I just wish the heroes on Netflix would embrace their shit. It's like Daredevil's the only one. And Defenders <laughs> fucked it up because even he didn't want to wear a costume there. He's out here looking like Iron Fist. And, and everybody is just like it's just frustrating because everybody's making fun of him for wearing a costume. It's like uh, all the audience is like, no, that's what you are to wear more. a costume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you understand? And then, this then part? to be fair, Jessica Jones and Cades, I think they they just lost it because Jessica Jones and Cades are kind of wearing their costumes, you know, because their shit. Unless you want to do 1970s Cades, like <laughs> you know, like yeah, their costumes are kind of like yeah, we're going to HEB. 1970s like, Cades. Did he have like some something on his? That's eyes? why he had the band for there that minute go. when okay. he breaks out, and he just just looks old, like his yellow shirts and like yeah, you know, like, like and and wristband shits. Um, I mean, uh, hopefully they're listening. Like the he audience don't need knows. to do that. Cades being in a hoodie is fine with me. I get that's normal clothes because it's just. I, I mean, I want, something, is. I want something distinctive at least because, like, everybody he knows how iconic the skull is for Punisher. And same thing with the fist. He spray painted it. That's lazy, sure. That that costs <laughs> like five bucks. But I mean, you know what? The skull is there. How do you spray paint that, though? I never understood. Like, how do you spray paint a skull? Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's just like, crazy. That, I mean, that's when he's bored in Afghanistan, he learned that skull. <laughs> but, um, yeah, close the door. I ain't gonna start making noise. But, um, yeah, just embrace the cat and like like that's man, Iron Fist was the worst one. Cause it's not too bad when Cage or Jessica Jones, because like I said, that's their costume, it's being normal. Yeah. But when Iron Fist is normal, like let alone the fact that he is literally normal. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, that's that's disgusting. But like, no, nah, that punishment. Like, uh, we would take back everything if you want to keep using your name in third person over and over. That's fine. Just wear the goddamn costume. Yeah. Okay, dude, just yeah. wear it, man. And learn, you know, some martial arts. At this point, like, I would have, I mean, like, the numbers say otherwise, because I guess it was, like, one of their most successful shows ever, but. For which one? Iron Fist. At least no, in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that weekend was. Not critically, but I'm talking about numbers, like, views, ratings. Like, it, it had more streams, I believe, than Cage. And Cage crashed the servers. You know what I mean? It's insane. I didn't know. Yeah, that. go go look at that shit up. Uh, I don't I don't know how well Punisher did, but I know Iron Fist did that. Um, how many streams they had after the weekend? I don't know. <laughs> like, like, well, because they um, Netflix kind of hides their data. Yeah, it on does. That. But there's always little like tidbits they can get. You know? Yeah. Out there, so Iron like the, I've seen little things. Yo, know, Stranger Things. Um, I it. think is their number one um thing that isn't Marvel, but it's like. There's a few Marvel things about Stranger Things, like no, I, don't, I think this year, I think. Well, I, like, I, I'm, yeah, I'm talking about one. I don't know nothing about oh, okay. today, about uh, season two. Yeah, but uh, yeah, in terms of like the, the last time I saw a list was like in August or something, um, and yeah, Iron Fist was at the top, and there was another Marvel one, and I think Stranger Things was like third or fourth. But like it was just like Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Mar like if you remove Marvel, it becomes like Stranger Things and not. And other things that I don't know because I don't really watch nothing on Netflix that isn't Marvel. I mean, Marvel is just <laughs> hitting it on all cylinders right now, <coughs> except for you know, Inhumans and Defenders and Iron Fist. <laughs> like, like, I mean, people are still buying into the content, and people are still gonna watch Iron Fist season two. Like, regardless. no, I would too because like now, I mean, it's not like they don't know. Now they know. Yeah. Like now, if you make it whack, like, you know, like like yo, one of the worst things of Iron Fist is uh. Evil Iron Fist, right? Um, well, not one because it's Evil Iron Fist. And I keep hitting my like, one because it's Evil Iron Fist, but like because of the fact that they don't wear the costume, right? And Iron Fist himself barely has any power. Evil Iron Fist has no costume and no power. And I'm like, well, now this is just a very shitty martial artist. Like, <laughs> like very bad. Like, it's very uninteresting to me. <laughs> like, 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 nothing is cool about this guy, you know? Like, I don't even remember his name, but um, I wish he didn't use the fist so sporadically in Defenders. I mean, I wish he just used it all the time. It was just like punching assholes. To but this, death, one, but right this is what I'm saying. Like everyone gets to use their power consistently. Daredevil is either busting ass, or if he's fighting a boss, he's getting his ass bust because that's his power. <laughs> you know, Cades him and uh, <laughs> is always bulletproof and always strong. Like just like they use their things consistently. Their powers. Yeah. Iron Fist. He's a uh, He's a video game character. I, I call it, I relate it to more fighting game people when, when I'm with them who know it, but fighting games, right? You have a meter, right? You have to do a bunch of attacks. You build meter and then you're allowed to do a special. 
That's Iron Fist. He he does a lot of whack ass moves. <laughs> he has enough meter. Yes, I got meter. One punch, and now he blows his load, and he has to start again. You know, like that's Iron Fist. I'm like, what the? Fuck? It's literally like a video game. Yeah, he has to replenish his health. Yeah, and like, he has to say <laughs> he has to say his full title five times <clears throat> before his power comes back to him. So. Based on that, like whole little complaint of like they don't embrace the heroes, right? On Netflix, and they kind of chose people with no powers. To me, he was 100% completely the wrong person. Like, he should have just never been on in that spectrum of heroes because he's the only guy who has power, like real power, not like, ooh, I'm strong. You know, ooh, well, uh, my defense is the shit, like Cage, you know? He's the only one who's like, he should body all three of them free if he wants to, you know? Like, yeah. if he's really in that mode, he's the only one. So he should have never been on this show. If you want to do this little Chris Nolan, is this shit is real type bullshit, they should have just got another guy who just punches and kicks, you know, like, but really punches and kicks. Like, that's his power, you know, yeah. like, that's it. Not no guy who can fucking have different types of chi and power blast. Like, he should be his own little cool gimmick of uh, Doctor Strange, but for martial arts. Instead, he's a fucking joke, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, literally on the show. He's a joke on Defenders. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah he's... The two Pretty things bad. are, and then and then the the series doesn't even try to build up the joke because not only in Defenders, like you said, they're making fun of him. Things I remember about him in Defenders is the Defenders are having him tied up to a chair for half the show, and then when the bad guys get him, they have him like crucified, you know, like. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this guy's a bitch, like like <laughs> like he's always just in weak positions. So it's like, how does anyone have respect for that character? Like, not only does he suck, but the show itself never puts him in positions to get over. Yeah. Basic wrestling theory. You know, like, get him over. And they never get him over. Yeah, they don't put him in a position to succeed. Uh, succeed. <clears throat> succeed. Yeah. Just, just constant ass beatings. It's like, dude, you're, you have the, the strongest power here. How is yeah. this, like, why? My thing is, because I know none of these things are going to be perfect, you got to get the spirit of the character right. So, like, you know I said all that crap about Punisher? Yo, Punisher... Top tier. <laughs> like, it's top tier, yeah. Because the spirit of the character is still there. Yeah, he may only wear the skull in, like, 1 in 13 because bookends is bullshit. I don't know why, but the spirit is there. Like, he's always doing these Punisher vibes, you know? Um, so, yeah. get and You get the spirit right. Daredevil season one, they got the spirit right. Um, from the little bit I know about JJ, they got the spirit right, you know? Well, hopefully they go Heroes for Hire on Luke Cage season two. That's why... I, to me, Iron Fish would have been, he should have just been the next Rosario Dawson. Like, he should have just been banned from a TV show, getting his own show on. He can just show up on everybody's show. <laughs> show you know? up. Yeah, because maybe he'd be a great Robin. Some some people don't, you know, some people you don't get to be Batman. But you get to be Scottie Pippen, and now look at you. You're in the Hall of Fame and shit. <laughs> so his show sucks, right? You suck. Just show up on Cage show all the time. Like, hey, buddy, what are we doing today? Well, I, think, I think Cage is the next show to come out. Is it? Because I know they just finished um, filming like last. Pretty week. sure all three are gonna come out next year, because they're filming all three. Yeah, uh, Daredevil's filming. It just started filming um, two weeks ago. Um, I'll be honest, that's the only Jessica one. Jessica isn't because she was just in Austin, so um, I think it's gonna be Cage, then Daredevil, then Jessica Jones, and I even know Iron Fist. I mean, that hasn't even started filming. So well, good. Oh, all four, Christ. I don't think. Well, yeah, unless that one starts filming soon. Um, Which one? Iron Fist. Because at least those three are filming. And I'm like, if they're filming, then they're all going to come out next year. But that one hasn't started filming. So I don't know what the hell the deal is with that one. Uh, they're probably I waiting. I mean, because they're off... hold. Just Punisher is good. Just give them more. I don't think they have the production <laughs> team to run four concurrent um, um, shows in New York at the exact same time. I, yeah, that's why I think they're doing it in portions, doing Cage first and then Daredevil I'm, and then I'm, Jones. And then... I'm curious if uh, um, yeah, like because I know you give me one article but like we don't, none of us really know. All those articles are from like, you know, sketchy blog sites and shit. The whole Disney Marvel, um, the whole Disney uh, Netflix thing, you know, pulling stuff. Yeah, that's not going to happen to 2019. No, I but I wonder if they'll like take a break. You know, like, 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 will there be a gap between shows or will they really just stay on Netflix? You know, well, the reason Netflix has distribution is because they pay for most of the production. So they have to pay like, yeah, because it's their shit. Yeah. And so, unless Disney wants to pony up the money to pay for the production and own the series, 
They're well, not. Don't they already do that for their show? <laughs> for, for their everything else they do? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a Netflix production. No, but I mean, don't they do that for... They, it's not like they haven't done it before. They make movies and TV. No, no, no. Know, like, like, no, I know. Yeah. But for from their point of view, it's their properties. So they, they may be like, hey, we'll just let Netflix pony it up. And like, we'll just license it back to our own streaming service. Which is what they're probably going to do because it's still their properties. Um, and it's fine. I mean, they're going to have... Still going to have like some... X-rated content because they're gonna uh, if they if they own the deal or purchase Fox they're gonna own FX yeah. and FX is gonna come with um, all those shows um, The Strain and It's Always Sunny those shows that are not like PG related content. Are we gonna so, have a crossover It's Always Sunny with the X Men? God, I hope man. <laughs> <laughs> um, those are the real crossovers I want. Fuck the X Men and Avengers. I want dumb shit. <laughs> Oh, I want um, Fox owns aliens still or no? Or, or do they own aliens at all? I got to find out what franchises they own. They own Planet of the Apes. Yeah, um, there we go. I want the apes versus the Avengers. <laughs> <I want> the- <laughs> what depends. <laughs> like, I think Fox is going to liquidate a lot of their um, IPs. They're just give them to different companies like Sony or whatever. Like um, if Alien owns, they're just going to sell it here and there. Because I know Disney just wants, of course, their characters, uh, the Marvel characters and the TV shows. That's like their biggest thing. For the streaming service, I think the individual properties they don't really care about. I mean, yeah, the fuck yeah. are they gonna do with like Planet of the Apes? It's already over. Like, what are we gonna Let's keep like, making more? Make it again in like four do. years. I'm like, look, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have all these ape spinoffs. We're gonna have Rogue One, Ape Edition. You know, all kinds <laughs> of dumb shit. You know, <laughs> like, like, but they're gonna have the hands full though. I mean, if they get it and they get X Men and they get Deadpool and they get all of that, I mean. And they get Fantastic Four, even though Constantine owns it, it's still going to go back to them. They can't go. They can't lease it to anyone else. <coughs> They're going to have, like, what, 10 Marvel movies a year? So. I mean, why not? <laughs> like, that's I'm the only time that, I go so. to the movies. I mean, shit. Dude. I mean, I would feel I would feel bad for um, Warner Brothers after that if they get them. Because that means they're literally going to have straight Disney Marvel content 10 times a year. Well, DC is going to be fighting for like two movies a year. I mean, I mean there's going to be no competition. They shot themselves in the foot because they never focused on making a good movie. And Man of Steel might be whatever it was, you know. But instead of the answer being, let's make a good movie, they was like, let's do a universe. And then they, <laughs> then they, they announced all, they blew their load way too early. Batman versus Superman. Like, if you can go look, when that gets announced, they announce all these movies that none of them have come out. But I mean, like, except for Justice League now. But they announced Justice League Part 1 and 2. They announced Batman vs. Superman. They announced uh, Shazam way long ago, you know? Um, yeah, they cut they cut part. I, I forgot they, they had them as 1 and 2. They cut it because of the reviews of Dawn Justice. Yeah, yeah. So. Like, because you might have had similar vibes to what was going on in Infinity Wars, you know? But, yeah, true. But I mean, like, it was it's their big team up. What the hell are you going to do with Dark Side now? I mean, we're just going to keep it for an individual Superman movie? Like, All right, so, uh, do you, you care about spoilers for that movie? Which one? Uh, Justice League. Oh, of course not. Um, so <laughs> the, the the final end scene, and like end credit scene, pretty much alludes to uh, uh, Legion of Doom. So it's just almost like, it looks like Dark Side's off the table now. Why would you? This is what I'm saying, like, now that they're doing that, I'm like, yo, so really, what was the point of Stephen Wolf? It's one thing to make fun of Marvel for having bad, bad guys, but this is just a bad, bad guy choice. Like, Stephen Wolf ain't, he ain't, ain't no one out here like, yo, man, I need Stephen Wolf in a movie. No, there's no Stephen Wolf fans. But it, like, there's no Stephen Wolf fans. The issue is that, like, you know, you could call Marvel's villains disposable, but they all had a purpose to the characters. Yeah. I mean, Nova still had a purpose because it showed um, Peter's history where he came from his mom and everything who? like that um what is it um nova uh guardians of the galaxy do you mean ego ego why is it nova i was like um, they, they, they never use nova but they use nova corpse there we go um no but, ego um, they, they, they it brought ego up his backstory but ego to me i would count him not that he's epic epic but he's you know he's more a god tier villain because he's a fucking planet i i hate on e- that movie's still good but i hate on ego is not ego in that movie ego is kurt russell <laughs> Like, he's not a planet. He is one, but I mean, like, in the comic books, like, the planet itself is, is a yeah. thing. Yeah, and that, to me, is, like, 
if you're not going to do that, why get ego? Just get other guy who is a guy, you know, like, like get guy, evil know. guy, guy. They made it relatable <laughs> enough. I mean, no, gave it did, like a simple enough like, explanation. But that's like the old days. Like that's the old days when we would never use God tier villains. So like, oh, Galactus is in Silver Fox. Ah, Galactus is in Fantastic Four Part Two, right? The Jessica Alba ones. Yeah. And he's too godlike. So what is he? He's a purple cloud. Like those are the, the old cop outs, you know, like, and it's like, don't bring Michael Jordan and be like, here's his foot. You know, like, no, like if you're going to bring Michael Jordan bad guy level, bring all of it to it. Otherwise, just use. Look at this. You have a whole list of other bad guys. Just use something else. Don't <laughs> ego the living planet. And what are we going to do? We're going to step on him. Like, I mean, that's why like, I'm nervous about um, with uh, Disney owning um, Fantastic Four if it came to that. Because I don't know how you could do a marvel movie with fantastic four i don't know if like the past movies have just spoiled it at least the taste of it but trying to do like the first family um introducing it into this world just it's gonna feel weird i mean i don't know yeah mr fantastic like they're preparing the already they moved, they, moved, they moved tony stark up north they moved all, <laughs> like they're preparing so they can be in the city <laughs> i mean they're just gonna kill tony stark so who they're just gonna kill him i mean uh, so we, a, do we just not have an iron man then do we get one of those Iron Women? That's we'll just have his right message. <laughs> yeah, like like what what? Um, Chris Evans leaves. Everybody's always talking about someone else playing Captain America. That's fine, but Tony, whatever is Downey leaves. Does does someone else wear the suit or no? Do we, okay. Like if Downey I mean, leaves, do we do this? Do we just cast another Tony Stark, or does Tony Stark leave, and now we bring in the next Iron Man? Well, I think that's why Disney is or desperately... Or is there just no Iron Man <laughs> like, in general <laughs> for a while? I'd imagine that's why Disney is desperately trying to get those rights to X-Men and Fantastic Four to introduce him. Because once they lose Thor, they lose Chris Evans and all of them. Like, even besides the characters, they still have financial obligations. And they've been with the franchise for like 10 years now. I doubt they're going to do it for another 10 years. Yeah, yeah. So they need that new blood to go back in there. It's going to be weird rebooting X-Men without Hugh Jackman, but I mean... It's, I mean, it's not come. that weird. It's not like he might have been cool, but his movies suck. They all suck. Oh man, Logan's oh, the they, first they, one. Okay, like, like, <laughs> okay. I thought you said like uh, his movie may have sucked. I was like, what? No, his Logan movie. All those, all those X Men movies, dog shit, yo. Like, I don't yeah. care if they have one good player. Like, many titles the seventy six ers one with Iverson. You know, I can't imagine anybody else playing <laughs> like, Xavier though. Well, we already have that. We got two Xavier. I know these. <laughs> you don't have to imagine Brian that. Singer. You can see it. You can see it. Hey, if a celebrity sex scandal can just happen for Brian Singer already, oh, like that'd be didn't so... he have one already? Or... Oh, he's he had, had numerous some ones. Boy but... in Hawaii or some shit. Yeah, he's yeah. got these <laughs> like... sex parties or something with like seventeen year olds. Is that it? is that a thing? Like, if I make a million dollars, am I gonna just want weird stuff? I think so. <laughs> like, <laughs> is that? <laughs> I'd imagine Hollywood when you have the availability of women and drugs and money. When and you hand. have everything, you kind of need more to get the yeah. And some people just off. like go younger. Yeah. So, it's but um, up. yeah. Like if you can just get away from the X Men movie, like I'm hoping, Dark Phoenix is the last X Men. Well, movie. we did get a rid of away from the X Men movie, right? He does the TV show now, that I, I probably will never see any of it. What Legion? No, he does. There's another TV show. With Runaways. Like, no, there's another one. No, no, there's a there's a Fox one. Runaways is a Marvel one. What? There's a it has Polaris in it and. It's about a family that's not canon to the comic books, but like they're surrounded by some canon characters. Like some, of, most of them are from like X Force and X Factor. I think I know what you're talking. I'm completely blank on. Um, but pretty much it's like the family. Maybe let's say the dad. The dad works for like the agency that goes after mutants. But ha ha, yeah. his parent, his kids become mutants, and now they're all on the run. You know, <laughs> like, um, I I only saw the trailer, but I've never seen it. But uh, he works on that. That was his. That's where he went to. Um, from the last shitty movie, I don't well, know he directed, if he's doing um, Dark Days of Future Phoenix. Past, right? And the other one, right? He did Apocalypse, right? Did he? Yeah, he did. I no wonder there was shit. And then from there, he goes to the TV thing. But I don't know who's doing. Uh, as long Phoenix. as they keep, um, yeah, as long as they keep what's her name as, um, Team uh, Gray. Yeah, Sophie Turner. Yeah, please just keep her. I mean, she's pretty and shit. But I mean, I mean like her movies suck. I don't care how hot you are, your movies suck. What movies? She played like what? 
She only played it once. No, well, just in general, she wears the X. I see all six movies. <laughs> Those movies have like moments. You get like PTSD after seeing the X on her. Yeah, no, all the movies have moments that I like. But as movies, like they're still dog shit. Because look, I always remember walking in the theater, Whitestone Theater. I think we were late. X-Men 2 and um, Nightcrawler teleporting around the church. That was a hot scene. But that movie still sucks, though. Or maybe, do they want to leave? Something? Awesome. Open the door. Right. But, um, or like, what was X Men 1? Um, oh, yeah, when he walks out of like a bank or some bullshit and the cops are pointing out at him and he just pulls all the guns and points the guns at them, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, that's a cool scene. Or the first time he meets Wolverine, but like, man, the movie sucked dick. Though. <laughs> like, the you watch the first one again. Dick. No, you don't. You can do something good with it. I mean, the life. first one was because I, I like the introductions for everybody, like you just mentioned. The first um, one was super important and good, too. I remember The Hood loved it. I remember being outside and The Hood loved it. But I mean, the first one was big because it was the first one. Like, not just first X Men. Like, it was like the first hero movie in a while. They're like, oh shit, this is kind of possible. I mean, <laughs> you know, like, it was like, the first team up uh, superhero movie. I don't count that as a team up. That's what yeah. they, the X Men should be. Too. That's like saying like it's the first time people played together on the Yankees. Like, <laughs> like baseball is a team sport, you know. Like the X Men are the X Men is the team. Unless you're using uh, the Legion guy, right? Isn't he yeah. X Men? Yeah, I think she might want to leave too. Yeah. <laughs> like, but. But yeah, we'll see. I mean. I'm still stoked for New Mutants, even though you hate it. It um, well, it's just I don't like horror movies. I, I'm I'm still happy they're doing that because who knows what's gonna happen with Fox? They, you know, I guess everybody thinks Disney's gonna buy them, but Fox, oh, no, I think it's it's just a matter of time, to be honest, and what they sell their rights <clears throat> to. But they're gonna get them for sure. But to me, after Deadpool, Fox became the people who do the other movies, the other comic book movies. Deadpool is you know, Ferris Bueller. Uh, old man Logan is like <laughs> what, driving Miss Daisy hex <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, 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 but yeah, like they're just they're not your, your they're not your normal hero movie. You know, it's like imagine Wolverine with. This is why I like Logan, but I but at the same time I'm like, man, we finally get a good Logan movie, and what happens? He, he dies. can't heal. No, not fall. Okay, he dies. <laughs> he can't heal. You know, he can't fight. Yeah, he can't do any of the cool shit without being a loser. Like he's no longer the OP guy, and it's like. We, would have been nice to get one op movie out of you but like but anyway yeah the movie's good but but like there it's different and now new mutants looks like a different movie like the first when new mutants gets announced i just imagined another x-men movie but with not x-men you know like here are the not famous x-men here's the minor league of the x-men you know <laughs> the um, d-league team yeah basically but now this looks like a horror movie it's like man this could oh no they could release the shit on october and shit you know like um, how you do a franchise around that that's another thing but it doesn't matter it's different so a part of me was like well shit they gonna keep doing this Can will Dark Phoenix be different like like, <laughs> or will it be here's another shitty ass X-Men movie <laughs> yeah I gotta find out who's directing it but if it goes like the Patty Jenkins route um, it should be a good movie though I mean if they do it for female empowerment and like not overly cheesy or anything like that I think it'll be fun well, I don't know about female empowerment because Wonder Woman is Wonder Woman and X-Men has a lot of people who are not named Jean well, I mean, Grey. <laughs> well, the, the whole <laughs> like, movie is focused on around her. It's not an X-Men movie, isn't it? It's a Dark Phoenix movie. As far as I know. As far as... Well, well, me, I understand it's a Dark Phoenix saga movie. So I wouldn't say the movie's... Who knows, right? I wouldn't say the movie's focus on her. I would say she's the bad guy, right? If we're doing the right story. So... True. Yeah, so... You can just based on what they've already done with X Men movie, like okay, normal X Men crap happens. I'm just like <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it just that's why I would be completely fine with it getting rebooted because it's just how botched the timelines are now. Because Logan, I guess, won't be in it because he's dead, or did it this happen? Oh, well, he's not dead because that should you know if we're doing it right, that should be a uh, canon to the uh, similar to Dark. It's, it's just it's the last X Men story, so he's. He's dead later. That's what I mean. Like, is he dead later? Or did this come into a different timeline? Are we going to exclude that? Directly is, is after he... uh, the last one, Apocalypse. It should be. It should be. But the way Singer had completely screwed up the timelines and like making it 
brand new characters and rebooting within. The worst thing they ever did was go back in time for first class. They should have just. How do you reboot a franchise (laughs) in the middle of a franchise? I don't get it. Because back then, like the old Hollywood rules were in play, and Marvel hadn't established their thing yet. So after three movies, what can you do? Because that was the stereotype: three movies. You know, not this whole universe crap that Marvel did. But yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it to the real shit now. I'm going to take it to the life questions. Even though it's like mad random. <laughs> These last two things are going to be real. You and Mike's podcast because they're just like media talk like this. And then I'm like, all right, here's some real shit. Because I forgot to do that. I forgot to talk about you. You're going to go like, <laughs> you're gonna go like Eric Andre route. Right? Sure. Like, real question. Who would you rather have sex with? Your mom or your dad? What? Oh, like, fuck. That's question always one. Let's go. No. Let's go. <laughs> no, he always asks his guests that on the show. Mm. And I'm nobody call, like, gives an answer. I'm so DJ Paul, bro. Ah, <laughs> All right. What, here's the, the Abe's famous question. What's your goal in life? The first moment of silence happened already. <laughs> What am I supposed like? I'm supposed to be quick on it. I mean, no, um, no, you do what you got to do. This is your shit, dude. The what I want the most out of life. Well, what's um, your goal in life? What's my go in life? <clears throat> um, uh, my go in life, I would say, is to <coughs> look in a mirror in confidence. Mm. Well, what does that mean exactly? I think. I thought it was pretty ex- um, self-explanatory. <laughs> um, be confident in who I am. I mean, I deal with like anxiety every single day and depression and the, the whole nonsense. So I always point out flaws or things wrong or whatever. So um, I like for one day actually to actually look in the mirror sober, sober, uh, nonetheless um and be happy i mean be confident and actually appreciate the person i'm looking at Mm. so self-love journey yeah that that would definitely be it i don't know (laughs) when that's gonna happen if i'm 45 or it's gonna happen tomorrow but and as long as it happens right hopefully all right next one all right it's changing camera settings um, who do you have compassion for? <laughs> San Antonio. No. <laughs> um, who do I have compassion? Hashtag for? JK. Know <laughs> <laughs> what I mean? Uh, family. Mm. First and foremost, and always. Um. And the people who want me around. Mm. I mean, I always say when people think sympathy, um, changing their Facebook filters for this and that, like, there's a tragedy going on. I have so much compassion. Oh, gay pride filter. Um, people just died <sighs> Vegas, filter. Yeah. Paris, yeah. Yeah. Um, no offense to my company. I love my job. <laughs> Shout out, Zuck. Um, but... Zuck fist is the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Zuck's the man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Please don't fire me. Um, so I hate, I just, I, I don't, I, I don't feel people, <clears throat> we're going into a new age where it's just, there's so much fake emotion out there. Mm. Um, and I don't mind saying I only have compassion or strive to only have compassion for just, um, my family and friends. Um, I try to relate with as many people and try to be open with um, um, becoming new friends with as many people as possible. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Um, but having compassion for everyone, I, I, I just feel it's a major vulnerability. Mm. And being vulnerable this day and age just doesn't work out so well. So I'd say... Um, Compassion for my friends and family, and I'm always um, up for extending that group. So, let me see. I don't, I'm not. It's not coming to me. The second question, so I got to check the. I notes. thought that was the second question. Oh, 
the way I have it organized is like one, two, three. Second, the but two is like six in my head. So yeah, you're right. But like, like, like well, how many questions? But are I mean, twenty <laughs> second question. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah. Um. Oh yes, yes. Three things you're thankful for in life. Oh, that's a perfect week to do that. Yeah. Um. The love of my family. Mm. Um. My health. Health, health is a big thing and it's so underrated. I mean, we don't notice it till it's gone, and we're like, "Oh shit!" Or we Cause, see because it. it's a it's a thing you can only achieve through per- perspective. You have to see it. I mean, I mean, my physical health. Yeah, yeah, no, not my mental health because my mental health is like deteriorated. Yeah, but my... it's the same thing. If you ever achieve the goodness, but now you have the contrast to understand what good is because you have the bad. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and a third one. <laughs> I'm thankful I no longer have to be um, restrained with myself. Um, for so many years, I was like pigeonholed to do like one specific thing, um, be it on music or. Um, certain friends. So I'm thankful that I grew out of that cocoon and became this bright purple butterfly. <laughs> Buffy um, Jason Warren. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm just thankful I was able to let my uh, mind and my um, words open up. Is that Jason? Hmm? Is that Jason? Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> some, when you posted the Buffy post, someone posted uh the movie buffy sarah oh, yeah. or movie buffy I forgot her name movie buffy uh kristen swanson yeah 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 it's sarah all the way yeah i know sarah it's like what are you talking about i know like, when, when like, he said that i was like really dude that's like <laughs> it's like asking if you appreciate breathing or dying yeah like, like come on cool. dude <laughs> um one person you want to forgive and one person you want them to forgive you and if you can say why yeah one person I want to forgive and one person I want to forgive me. Yeah. And if you could say why, yeah. <clears throat> this is the, the pesh mode. <laughs> part of the the podcast i know enjoying the silence um because you're speaking with this policy of truth over here don't watch out yeah who made that song as a yeah okay yeah i was like no because some rappers were coming to mind too and i was like i don't think he's talking about those guys though i'm totally <laughs> gonna like, listen to depeche Mode when i leave now hey badass um, man i don't blame you did you like the new album or no i haven't heard it it has two really great songs for me and then the rest is like kind of standardish. they I, don't really make bad music but you know like I'm always wanting them to hit yeah. the mode, you know, like, 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 and they don't always hit the top, you know? Yeah, definitely not for me. <laughs> not anymore, at least. Yeah, for sure. After Ultra, that was like, no, not Ultra. I forgot the other one. Music for the Masses? Yeah. Not Music for the Masses. What is the other one? They have too many. Playing the Angel. Playing oh. the Angel was like the last one I really liked. That's, I still count that as pretty modern. That's, yeah. that's way modern. I mean, that one. came out like 10 years that, ago. They had so. a song from there on Smallville. Yo. <laughs> like, they had like, oh. <laughs> two songs on Smallville from that album. You I would think. talk about that show. I, I used to watch all that shit, dude. I didn't finish Smallville because what started off okay became again like, but yo, you know what was on Small? Yo, Dark Side was on Smallville. That's how fucked up that show. Yeah, was. but their Lex Luthor was terrible. Uh, it's better than fucking Eisenberg. <laughs> literally, literally, that was the worst moment. That little Legion of Dune um, was. Like, I gotta find it online. It was the worst moment of the movie for me because he was in it. Because look, Batman or Superman is is not. I'm sorry, Justice League is not bad. It's just, if everybody is over here, Justice League is here. So I'm like, you don't need to see it. It's I, just not that good. I didn't get why they had a promotional photo of him bald. And then throughout the entire movie, he has hair. It doesn't go bald to the end. There's certain like, stories the where he has, that? well, dude, that's Netflix style, right? They don't become who they are till the end, you know? Like, But the thing is, when he shows up at the end, like he's the one trying to make the Legion of Doom. 
It was the only part of the movie that reminded me of Batman vs. Superman. How big was Deathstroke? Was it like a big guy? He looked all right, but honestly, I couldn't see him. All I saw was <laughs> Lex Luthor. And I was like, because it was the only part of the movie where I was like, you know, I had my questions, but I was never like, man, this is bad. And it was the only part of the movie where I went, oh, man. Like, yeah, like everybody I was around, like, because I was seeing it with Adrian in them, you know? So like Adrian too, he was like, God damn it. I hate that guy. I think that was his <laughs> Like he didn't even speak yet. I think Adrian said that. <laughs> I love watching shit with Adrian because he, he just lets it out. Like, <laughs> Matt, I still would want to see that and then walk out the theater when he starts to out. Fuck this. Adrian was out, angry. Man. Like, like, like <laughs> he came on the screen. Throw the popcorn at the screen. I'm done. But I'm like, done. yeah, internally I was like, oh, like this is the only part of the movie that I was just like, they didn't need to put this in there. Like, he, I would have been happier if he had a paper bag over his face. Like, <laughs> it, this was horrible. Like, I can't, I, I can't even see Deathstroke. I know a lot of people are angry, happy that he's there, but it's like, yeah, but that thing is there too. And no. It's a shame. I mean, it could have just had Deathstroke. Deathstroke, at least. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean. And then for people who really like that stuff, like, he's not even that new. Because I know you don't watch those shows, but he was Arrow Season 2's main villain. Yeah. And for a lot of people, that's their top tier. And all those shows have never come close to Arrow Season 2. Like God, you and your obsession with those <laughs> like, crappy WB shows. Those shows, particularly, like, Flash Season 1, great. Came out. I put Flash Season 1 right next to Daredevil because they were innovating. The problem is... <laughs> they never they stopped that was it <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they stopped they we never can't really go any innovate. further so. yeah, I guess but yeah like after that it, it never gets as good as Flash Season Flash Season 1 was kind of like the same thing Daredevil like never seen nothing like that on a like just for TV-ish type yeah. thing never saw some type of superhero show like that on TV that's why Flash was amazing and then they did all these other shows and then they all ripped off Flash and I was like what was once amazing is now four times a week in other forms <laughs> And it, it's just really, 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 really bad. It was really bad. But season one was, was amazing. But yeah. never gonna watch it. Don't, don't. You don't have to. But I mean, like, <laughs> but Thanks yeah. For letting me know about my free will. Yeah, but forgiveness. Um, I'm forgive Zack Snyder for. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel bad making fun of him now because of because of the daughter thing. I just feel bad that that's a shitty way to leave, because. I would have liked him leaving with his movies suck, not with his daughter dead. You know, like that's kind of whack. But <clears throat> damn, son, nothing. Adrian had problems no, with this I, too. I got, I got <laughs> something. Just <laughs> like, trying to figure out the best way to say it. Um, you can say as little of it as you need. You don't have to like, like. I would prefer, you know, if you can say it. But yeah, if you can only be like, like, this is person A. That's it. You know, like you do what you got to do. You know, <laughs> so one person I like to forgive is it the company where I met you at? Is it the <laughs> what? God no! I don't mind hating them at all. I'm not forgive them. Um, back in um, back when I was living at the um, set apartments on the south side, um, I was um, on skates. And like roller skates, like not skateboard. Yeah. This kid, like 10 or so. And I remember skating to the fountain, and there was like these two, three girls there. And I tried impressing them, like talking to them or something like that. It didn't work out. One of them decided to hit me in the nuts. <laughs> so I went down as crouching, and they're just laughing, and walked away. I'd like to forgive her one day for that. <laughs> what a, what I don't a, see what that. a moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's ever gonna. I was <laughs> just right in the nuts. And of course, this is before I knew how what a dick exactly does or anything like that. So. Oh, this is young, young pulp. Young. It's fresh pulp. <laughs> Freshly squeezed out of the yeah. womb. <laughs> so. I want Bianca to forgive me one day. Mm, that was the real answer you probably didn't want to say. <laughs> I don't know if she has deep down inside. Mm. But. All right. Um, where you see yourself in three years? Uh, California. Mm. California, New York. One of them for sure. Um, I'm thinking more New York because of their offices. Um, I'd rather work in the New York offices for Facebook if I'm still working with them. Um, I think as long as you don't fuck up, I think you'll get hired by them. Well, it's just the, uh, the type of um, the fields. Um, my department is only in Austin, 
San Francisco and Ireland. No, but you got you got your foot in the door. This is when now it should be easier for some internal. Platform. Oh yeah, yeah, possibly. But I think I want to make make it into a full time. Yeah, yeah. And then from there, like try to sort something else out in a different office or see what the other positions are. Um, like go, LA, like, Facebook seems to have a lot of like entertainment stuff. Like uh, I didn't even hear I hear about the LA Facebook office or anything. It's just a San Francisco one. Oh yeah, they have realer stuff. Menlo has almost everything. Like obviously yeah. it has the real stuff, but it has a little bit of like some marketing stuff there too. I mean, I'd love to visit the campus <clears throat> one day, the Menlo uh, Park. Yeah. I'm sure I can. I'm gonna try to visit the Madrid office next year when I'm in Spain, um, just just to check it out. Um, but yeah, um, mm-hmm. one of those for sure. I still want to stay within Facebook. Um, but if not, I, I like to I stay. I got denied like seven times from Facebook, right? <laughs> Actually, no. If we count all the times I've applied, it's probably near it's maybe 20. We get t- <laughs> They're checking these podcasts, man. Um, No, this is way before. I'm talking about like way before. <laughs> like, oh, like, <laughs> like if we counted all the times. I've applied, we just counted now maybe like seven times. But if we counted before, it's definitely over 20. Jeez. Like, so, yeah, your man gets denied. But I'd be thinking those are things that are, you know, like I'm not, I don't think the way I act, dude, like. Sure, I'm not making money right now, but I, I, pretty much that's probably just the universe. Like, dude, you better like figure out this real life hustle because I'm probably just not meant to be in that world. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll join it again, but you mentioned LA. Like, the two things on the table for long term, like, who knows what I'm gonna really do? But like, like I said, it just seems like it'd be really easy to teach in Japan. So like, I might. Uh, I might just apply and see what happens. And the thing is, if you teach in Japan, March. it'll be in like in some small village or something. It'd be out it depends, of nowhere. Nope. It depends where you go to. And then like, I mean, most of the things, videos I've seen of people who are. Um, it, it all depends, dude. And then because, yeah, that might happen. And there's nothing wrong with that. But also parallel transfers because there's a bunch of places once you're in Japan, because a lot of people who really want to go there for real, real. Yeah. Sometimes they make the mistake of saying with that company that gets you to Japan, they suck. They they pay you kaka money. Like, but there's a lot of companies who, even if all you, you want to do the same job, teach English, who want English teachers, but they will only hire you if you're there already. They have no interest if you're here. Like, all right, he might not really come. Um, we don't want to pay for flight or finding you a place, but you live here already? Like, sure. Come. Yeah. And some people just break the contract because they pay more. You know? yeah. <laughs> so they're like, fuck it. You know, um, yeah, like I already have a site for jobs over there in Japan. It's called like one. There's probably many more, but a popular one's called Gaijin Pot. And there's a bunch of sites, but pretty much every requirement is must live here already. <laughs> like, mm. um, cause, so, yeah, once I'm there, I'm like, oh, I would look for parallel transfers like right away. But yeah, like you ever met Amber? I don't think so. Oh, shit. She's a friend I know. We're talking about... Um, She's down to move in with me, too. But again, her lease don't run out till February. Move to Japan? No. To LA. Oh, Because like, she lives there already. But she's down to get a place with me. Nice. Um, I When I was in Denver, I talked to her because her roommate left about getting the, the, the room next to her. But it's weird. Like, I guess in some weird way, like, uh, I would have to sublet it from him. And he's like, no. Yeah. Because... I guess he's gonna come back at some point, but so yeah, that fell through. But yeah, like those are the two places where I'm at right now. I mean, I'm pretty happy being where I'm <clears> at because <throat> the experience I'm gaining. There's a lot of the clients we deal with, you know, applying for their positions across the U.S. would be pretty nice. Like there's these two, uh, a few clients that work out of L.A. and New York mostly, and they report to us all the time. So it's just pretty much doing the opposite side. Mm. Um copyright so it'd be nice to like get experience here then go to something like that since social media is never gonna shut off or rest so we'll evolve the what uh so yeah just la and more stuff like that i don't know <laughs> like I, I don't, for your three years <laughs> like, i mean three years i'm not expecting to get married or have kids or anything like that definitely not kids <laughs> no baby popes no baby popes <laughs> um I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel because I wish one of us did have kids. One of my brothers. I thought you meant me and you. I was like, why? Like, like why do you was that? <laughs> I was like, why? Would Not you together. Wish why would? I don't even mean together. Just like I wish one of us. I was like, why? Like, why do I? Need, like, why would you wish that? On me? I was like, like, 
<laughs> There's no context to that yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> like, why do you want me to have kids? <laughs> um, at least they're my brothers. Because they're like one of us to like bring Give grandparents home. for them? Yeah. And like, we're all there. My, my older brother seems closest enough, but I don't, I mean, he has a long-term girlfriend right now. But I don't know if she's up for having kids. So I think that'd be like one of the only reasons immediate reasons if i were to have a kid i was like just to have my mom be a grandma mm. all right what well, what is uh the perfect day mm. perfect day is when i don't have to pull out my ak mm. today was a good day it was a good day <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the answer. No, that's really your answer. That's really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> every day is good for you, right? Because <laughs> I don't own an you AK. Had the perfect, yeah, life. <laughs> then you've yeah. had life. I've yet to pull out an AK, so I've had yeah, a perfect yeah. life. Um, perfect day, having no anxiety, mm. going through the whole day with no anxiety, which is rough because I have anxiety every single day. So, right. yeah, and that would be the perfect day. I could be doing whatever, whatever. As long as they don't have anxiety. As long as they don't have somebody sending me a text like, hey, <coughs> we need a talk or having somebody make a comment to me where I just take it wrong or making me fearful at work for doing something wrong or something like that. Um, just one day where just no anxiety. Mm. That'd be a perfect. So I don't even take Xanax. I should take Xanax. Or <laughs> Gotta know. get into meditation, man. I should. <laughs> I used to talk about meditation a lot on this podcast, not anymore. <laughs> like, but, uh, where does the will to carry on come from? Does it come from within or higher power or what? Wait, say it again? The will to carry on. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep pushing through. Will to carry on. Um, I'm still um, trying to figure that out. I mean, <laughs> mm. um, trying to, I couldn't think of the right way to say it. Um, the will to carry on. I don't know because I just see disappointment. You just see disappointment? I hate all the disappointment. Time? Oh, okay. So I hate to disappoint my parents and off myself or something um i just hate to see my life as a failure so i want to keep going even though it may be shit here and there and i just keep pulling on and see how far i can go through this so i don't want to disappoint myself mm. all right this is the last one this one's called I Like, I Wish, I Wonder. Oh, my God. <laughs> was this like Fuck, Love, Kill or something like that? Or Fuck, Kill, Marry? No, it's like <laughs> way more positive. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, I Like That I Did. I won. I like, I wish I wish I had done. I wonder what would have happened if. Oh, we know the last one for sure. wonder what would have happened if Zack Snyder made a good movie. <laughs> Thank you. Now to the next two. Uh, no, I, I feel like no, I feel like I know, but yeah, for sure. You what like, was the first one? I like that you. I like that I did. I like that I did rights. Oh, okay. We, so, <laughs> we didn't even mention that because you didn't want to. <laughs> I definitely didn't want but to. But he still likes that he did it. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm still down. It's not happening. The more I don't have money, the 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 more the more I don't make money, the more I'm inclined to not do. But I really would have, I would have totally shot a documentary, dude, and we would have submitted that shit to like indie film festivals and South by, and who knows what would happen. <laughs> How not to do a festival in ten days? Hey, that shit could work, and then we would have blew up, and we've been like little indie like whack ass Ben Affleck <laughs> and, and Matt Damon. Okay, <laughs> maybe on a ten year anniversary. About that. So you got like a minute, like four years to go. <laughs> Uh, what was the second one? I wish I had done. I wish I had ate my vegetables as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you not eat them now because of that? Uh, no, because of my clear um, misproportioned height. Mm. So Does that affect height? It affects my uh, self-confidence. Mm. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, of course, when you eat your vegetables and whatnot, you grow strong and blah, blah, blah. Didn't do that so much as a kid, and it came out this way. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like a deformed freak or anything. Damn, I mean, some people may change think life. otherwise. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that now. Done growing. Thanks God or <laughs> Mother Nature. Shout or, out to you know, God and Mother Nature and science <laughs> and science too. Um, I wonder what would have happened if. 
If I move to Dallas. I was supposed to move to Dallas and hear us back. With her? Mm-hmm. We're set to move over there. She was already living over there. And she found me a job at Capital One. Damn, Alex. she found you a job too? Fuck! But I was too scared. I didn't want to move far from my family. And now I live in Austin. Um, well, it's not far. I mean, still. That's not. That's actually like quite reasonable. I, you, mean, come still, still, you come here all the time. You come here A couple hours is still um, technically the same thing. It's still within the same state. So, I mean, I mean, four is a little bit rougher than one, though, like the, the one that Austin is. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be coming back as often because I would have a partner over yeah, there. Yeah. So now when I'm in Austin, I don't have that many. I haven't tried opening up and getting new friends over there yet. She go on like OkCupid or some shit. Um, mm, Tinder life. Let's go. But now. Yo, yo, we were talking about streaming. Yo, this, this, the, this is an American thing. The, the people around the world don't do this. The Americans big on streaming Tinder dates. What? So I'm just saying, you have to be. You can't. You can't. You know, be streaming sex shit or maybe some of the what? the kissing. And do they have to know? Um, well, yeah, yeah. No, you tell the <laughs> you tell the person, hey, this shit's gonna be streamed. You know, otherwise so you end up with them text messages like I was getting before. <laughs> it would be weird for have a first day and like, hey, it's gonna. Well, like, because you know around. what though, like they're not necessarily looking for a girlfriend or even get laid or any. They're looking more for content, mm. and this is gonna create a fun opportunity. You know, worst case. Worst case, I probably don't see you again, but best case, like, hey, we have fun with friends and who knows if something real happens, then we'll just do stuff not off stream, you know, but yeah, but it's mainly about just having fun being on stream. And then, you know, a lot of people want to see people on dates because they ain't going on dates. You know? <laughs> like, like, so, yeah, no, that's the thing. I've, thought, I've never thing. used Tinder in my life. Literally, that's the first time I thought about using Tinder. I was like. Yo, I'd be down to stream some dates. Yo, like, <laughs> like, I'm dead ass. That's the first time I ever thought about going to Tinder. <laughs> That'd be perfect, though. I mean, it'd be perfect to put on your Tinder profile. Like, hey, let's go on a date. I'm going to stream it. Like, I literally only, yeah, I, I will we'll only date you if you agree to be on stream. Like, kind of just looking at That's exactly this. why we're not going to have sex, because we're going to stream. I'm not going to get arrested Well, no, you can just turn so. it off. You can <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, like, try to get, like, <laughs> into a girl, girl's good graces and say, like, I'm not oh, just yeah, not yeah, some okay. ulterior yeah, yeah. motive. Like, no, we're going to stream it, so... People can see us being silly. Yeah, not, yeah. Like, not that's when we change the stream to uh, Chatterbait. <laughs> <laughs> that way we we still can stream and make money, but Let's it's put this legal. on chat roulette. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't think you can make money on. Can you make money on chat roulette? I haven't been on there since it's like blew no up clue. inception. Yeah, I don't even know if it's still around. I would assume it can be. It's not mm, that well, somebody hard. bought it, I'm sure. But uh, I forgot if you were saying something real. <laughs> no, just that. Oh, I, you haven't opened up in Austin, yeah. So. Yeah, so I haven't really. Um, but if I had moved to Dallas, it would have been an easy transition. Mm. So I'm kind of wondering how. I was scared too, going over there, um, having it fall apart. Mm. Being over there and like, oh shit, I'm in a new city. And this and that. But it probably would have kicked my ass into getting like things accomplished a lot faster. But then again, if I was by myself in a different city, I didn't have any type of support if we did break up. But we still managed to stay together years after that initial invite so who knows but yeah i wish i had moved i mean i wish i had moved i wonder if i had moved yeah um, yeah to portland or dallas or some of the cities we had picked so i would have never met you yeah i mean you'd probably be better for it <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be in your room doing a podcast yeah I mean, this, ain't, this ain't exactly luxury here you know um i'd be having the fear too of moving but my thing is like Especially in Denver, I had like a whole week to contemplate on that because it gave me a taste of what it'd be like. Yeah. Um, we're pretty much done right now, but I mean, so we got to end it when needed. But like, like the opportunity that, that's always there for me is to live with Pagan. But right now he got three people. So I'd be the fourth person in one room. And it's like when I stayed in Denver in one week with this guy, the guy who was <laughs> like, like changed my name, you know, take me off the podcast. Oh, yeah. So when I, when I stayed uh, with him, he's cool. He's awesome dude, but he lives in a loft. So I'm around him all the time. And even when, except when he goes to sleep. And when he goes to sleep, the area doesn't even have a door. Yeah. So it's like I'm around him 24 seven, like if I'm there, you know? Um, and I'm like, damn, this is only one dude. And I like this dude too. So like, oh man, if I'm with Peggy, I'm like with three people. Like I never had any alone time. And now that I'm into like meditation and yoga, and even when I do like any of this shit or editing, I want to be zoned out. That's why like, even though I know we're talking about streaming. Like one of the things I should always be streaming is anytime I do this junk, but I don't want to pay attention to a chat. I want to just zone out on this shit, you know, when I do it. Wait, um, do you, 
No, so, never mind. Go on. No, but anyway, yeah, like so that that just Dean in Denver gave me a taste of what it's like. Like, oh man, so we're gonna be together forever. <laughs> like, like, it sucks, you know. So I'm like, all right, I know I can't do the pagan thing, but like, yeah, just like <clears throat> fear of like, and then fear of going back to the real world. Like, if I go to LA, like, man, maybe long term I'll get something good, but short term I'll have to go back to a shitty job. Like, I don't want to do it. I don't wanna do it. <laughs> like, like there has, there's too many people making livings. Like I need to figure out something. Like, but we'll see. And then Japan, just, um, I don't know. Part of some, sometimes I'm like, well, I wonder if I can do his what he does too. I mean, try. <laughs> like, like, I mean, you have. That's like, why I'm kind of interested of being in Japan because even though I get nobody here, I live in America and I'm living in San Antonio. But if I'm in Japan, literally what all those guys in Japan do is put, I'm in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> and that magically attracts people. He's an anomaly. He got 2,000 people, but most people get like 50 to 100. And that's something. You know what I mean? That's still something. <laughs> so who knows? It's such a foreign, Far East land. that Because for a lot of people, like that does a lot of the stuff we like. It does anime. Um, Korean K-pop is the thing right now, but there's still a thing for J-pop. Um, let alone people who have their little fetishes with, you know, hentai and all that other crap going on. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, you like video games? Like, boom, you know, that's very important. Yeah. So, like, that, that land's always been responsible for a lot of our things. So, I think we kind of glorify it. Um, so, if someone's streaming from there, like, yeah, what is it like? You know, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't really want to see it. Because let me tell you, when I watched a couple in Thailand, they're cool. But Thailand, they're not exactly, it's not exactly. Especially now that I'm seeing it for real, real, like it was never exciting in my imagination. <laughs> it was probably more exciting in my imagination because in my imagination, it was a lot of Muay mm. There's not a lot of Muay going on. <laughs> Bunch of farmers, man. What am I looking and at And Twitch won't let them stream Muay because it's uh, real fighting. And, and then sometimes too, like, because it's, you know, some type of, it's not religious, but it's just sacred and shit, mm, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. But Twitch won't let them stream fighting, which is weird because they let people stream MMA on Twitch, but. They won't let them stream that. And I think maybe because it might just get too violent or something. Mm. But I don't know. But yeah, yo, last word. You got to actually no. You got any plugs? Do you care to plug any of your Oh, app? plugs? Yeah. Um, yeah. Check out Facebook.com. It's a cool social media website. Literally, um, you going to plug that. <laughs> <laughs> Not even nothing of yours. <laughs> um. <laughs> the company site. The company site. I'm going to put that in Pulp's links. Facebook.com. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> It's like, what well, do you work there? Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, um, plugging. Okay. Did you start your your page that you don't want nobody to know about yet? I know I started the page. Um, follow me on Facebook, Gas Mask Cowboy. Um, you you'll just find a ridiculous amount of memes. I have like a hundred Twin Peaks memes that I need to upload on there. Yeah. But like getting them out there to con, it's like it just. I still don't understand how Facebook pages get a thousand likes within no time. I don't get it at all. I don't get how they go viral. Oh, I so believe. Quickly. Well, yeah, unless it goes true viral. I mean, like it's 10% of your fan base, right? Yeah. So you have to get that fan base up first, unless you're going to pay for every single clip. You I, know? Know. Like, <laughs> I, I just need like one, like I had that weather one where I just um, paid for it and got like a ton of likes. Yeah, so um, I just need like one that launches off and go from there. And you're like, seeing adding the difference. Likes. Of uh, when you preach to the community, when you sell me like something that you posted oh, yeah. in Twin Peaks forum or group, <laughs> and then now like when you try to do it for you, it's a difference. <laughs> I mean, I need to like go through my laptop because I have so much content on there that I just need to sort it out and start putting it on um, on there. Because I know all those pages I still follow still get <clears throat> a ton of likes and a ton of um, support in there. They're all you know <laughs> work closely with like Instagram or facebook or whatever and just just posting nonsense it's like yeah, twitch yeah. it's like you guys are literally not doing anything but stealing memes and reposting it and you're getting One like of thousands my, of likes he's a fitness uh social media guy his name's brandon carter and he has a bunch of stuff like a lot of these guys do like products you can buy but one of them is like where he teaches you like social media but he says rule number one like post lots of stupid shit <laughs> and he's like until until you understand that i can't teach you He's like, I can't see that. Like, he was like adamant about this. He's like, social media is about posting dumb shit that you think no one cares about, but they do. And until you get that through your fucking head, like I can't even teach you like the rest of the steps of social media. <laughs> He's like, so post dumb shit, you know? Well, I need to like, I need to post something on my page and then share it on my personal page and let it go viral from there, with yeah. their friends and on and on. So it's just, it's going to take time. I, I need to hit like, 
a thousand followers by next year like not by I'm like, or what what happens <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 no, like, i mean like i need i need like pick up stream on that like i want to build it up my friends were i think i only have like 326 right likes on my page but i wouldn't be surprised if a couple of months if i have a thousand because my friend he's fucking working on it the one who i taught you the how to get your money from the guy who um Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that guy, he's like, work. He's he pretty much uses me as beta testing for what he wants to really do. But he, what does he post? Stupid shit or no? Anything I post, but I mean, like he's he's working on like how to make the ads work or how to make uh, um, promotion of the page works and and getting those uh, ratio balances. I forgot what they're called. Yeah, but you know that way. He says he he's, he got it down to like a dollar per like like recently, and then he was, he got it down to like seventy nine cents. So. He's working on it, so I feel like at some point, like I might have over a thousand likes. What's it by spending a thousand dollars? Um, but it's free money because. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> like so, and I'm I'm less concerned with that because yeah, they're not real followers because they are real, but they're not because you know, it's whatever. But at that point, when you get that number high enough, then you can post for real, and yeah. then you get that that ten percent. 10% of two people is nothing, but 10% of like 2,000 people, or now that's like like uh, 200, I think. No, something. no, it gets up there when yeah, I see yeah. those 500,000 pages. That's why Time Wheel is like amazing, you know? <laughs> like, without, without going on that whole Time Wheel tangent, you know? We don't have time. Yeah, for that, yeah, we so. don't. Like, <laughs> this, was a, this was one of the, this is very, it wasn't pro San Antonio, but it wasn't negative San Antonio. We'll keep that for next podcast. That's very rare on my show. <laughs> we because we kept it on positive topics, except for like, well, yeah, DCEU. Yeah, but yeah, it was good though. I am not gonna regret anything. I'm not gonna pull any footage. But you didn't want to plug none. Like, if, like that's it. Nothing else. I mean, just that Drop right now. Instagram. I mean, like you know, <laughs> my personal stuff. I did. Right. Check that's out Luchador Bar. It's if you're in San Antonio, it's my friend's bar. It's over on the south of South Town. Um, a luchador bar, cool bar, cool people, cool mm. vibes, cool drinks, whatever. Um, hmm. Check out Mafio Tees. Um, they create these awesome Selena pins and Selena <laughs> shirts. My boy makes them. Never forget Amazing Selena's. Design. Never, never forget. forget Selena. If you're in San Antonio, buy one. <laughs> and um, yeah. Um, what is it? Um. Yeah, I think it was like a great. I think Gandhi once said like, um, "Oh, are you doing it? Yeah, yeah, last words is the last words." Yeah, I think Gandhi said it best. Um, what was it? Um, Mother Teresa said, ain't got nothing on me. No, no, he said um, <laughs> it's some ancient Indian proverb which translates to "I got loyalty in my DNA." Oh, remember that. So. Oh, that's it, man. Bake that chicken, smoke that turkey, boosh, babies. A.L.R. Boosh, Diary of a Boosh, Part 1. Should I stay or should I go? I don't know. So I spit it in a rap flow. Ayo. What am I doing in Denver? Passing the time until I remember. Feeling like why I've gone to November. Mom plays, I'm back for December. Cause I left on a whim, left the house to my next of kin. Frustrating game of life, not winning. Plenty more family told me I was killing. Cause I write rhymes, when I make Instagram posts every time. Every person works on a craft, lyrics black, okay, as long as I make you laugh. Go to one way to Colorado, Corvettes or false Colorado. Mean say live like no tomorrow. Hit up Drew for a couch to borrow. Should I stay or should I go? You tired, I know. Up here in the same flow, I'ma sound like an asshole. I'm real repetitive, yo, life giving me them blows. Not them good ones, though, more like ludicrous elbow. Should I stay or should I go? You tired, I know. Up here in the same flow, I'ma sound like an asshole. Dream did a Halloween in Denver. Change of seasons, night to remember. Black box, logo, dubstep crew. Bass drops, you know what to do. Past 2 a.m. Tom's Donna. Burgers and shakes, nothing fauna. Bar stand of the next night. House beats while drinking Sprite. No mind, Josh Butler, England. Friend advice, tell me to see them. International artists, for the weekend. Walking the boat, no speeding. Experience is what I'm here for. But honestly, I just hit a board. Chill mode, like I'm at the resort. Nothing else, and just Should I stay or should I go? You tired, I know. Up here in the same flow, I'ma sound like an asshole. I'm here to if yo, life giving me them blows Not some good ones, though More like food with this elbow Did I stay or should I go? You tired, I know If you're in the same flow I'm a sound like an asshole
Back in SA now, life, where will it take me? Wow, where do I wanna go? Better question, ask myself, yo. Rap flow, my diary, hey. Rest of my songs might be this way. Rap to keep my head all straight. Real shots, no head all fakes. Will I do what it takes to make myself really, really great? Will I crumble, press it too great? In love with the need to create? Makes me feel real good. Used to have regrets, wish I could. Nowadays I do the thing, going after what my heart should sings. Should I stay or should I go? You tired? I know. If you're in the same flow, I'ma sound like an asshole. I'm real repetitive, yo. Life giving me them blows, not them good ones, but more like ludicrous elbows. Should I stay or should I go? You tired? I know. If you're in the same flow, I'ma sound like an asshole.